Hi. How's it going, everybody? It's time for us to return back to Camarocha once again for some more Yakuza 0. Uh, last time we were here, we basically just started doing Kiryu stuff over for his, like, his main, like, side gig, which is real estate. And we took down one of the five billionaires. Uh, and also uh, did a little bit of story stuff. However, I we've gotten to a point where I'm worried that we're going to get to a point of no return because... Uh, from what the story is saying, we're going to be going to Sutenbori if we go to... I can't look at the map from here. If we go to the, the restaurant where Tachibana and Oda are staying at. So, I feel like if we go there, we're going to be going to Sutenbori and either we're not going to be coming back for a long time, or we're going to be uh, basically in the end game. I actually don't know how close we are to the end game, to be honest. So for now, I figure for the next couple of streams, uh, we're just going to focus on taking care of the the billionaires. Alright. So for now, uh, let's see. Already invested in there. That's been invested. We only have $32 million on us. Uh, mm. Yeah, sure. Go for collection. Go collect there. And I'll keep these two empty just because we're... I think we're gonna, just going to work on one at a time. Just because we don't really have a whole lot of money invested into th these two places. So for now, while we have to wait for the collections to get finished up, uh, let's head back through town and see what we can do. See if there's any side stories or side businesses that we can uh, go and visit. All right, uh, let's take a look. I think all my weapons are broke. Yeah, they're all broken. Abilities. Uh, probably should invest a bit more into brawler or beast, but unfortunately, uh, hmm. what do we got? I should perform a resist guard to an enemy during a rush combo. X, uh, left bumper before attack. Uh, the enemy's attack hits. Powerful spinning blow unleashed from the resist guard stance, or it could go for more health. Reduces the rate the heat gauge drops over time. That would be good, too. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll uh, invest in some into some more health. Alright. Let's go around town and see what we can do. Oops, I forgot to turn the sound down on TV. Uh, sure, give me a large. Wait, no, I don't want to order. I thought he was stopping me be like, uh, hey, do you have a minute? Oh, yeah, I still have that plate I can sell. Alright. Oh, there's actually a thing that shows off all the places that we can buy out. So there's two places here that we could still invest in, but I have no idea where they are. And there's those places. Okay, it, that actually would have been really useful had I known that I could uh, just go to right here and check it out. All right, well, the Gambling Keen area, there's a lot of big businesses there, so I'm pretty sure we all know everything there. Like the Mock Bowl, which is the Bowling Alley, New York Hot Dog, Gibson Hall, Popuri, Pachinko. For now, we're working on electronics, but everything there is just way too uh, expensive for me to invest in. So I guess for now... Why don't we go back and do some bowling? Because uh, I looked it up, and I think that the fact that we unlocked the real estate business is what we had to do to uh, get the 
uh, story here done. It just was allowing me to play it beforehand, and then they said, okay, you can't really progress until you actually have unlocked it. I thought you had to, like, progress in the real estate business. I thought you never come. Something wrong? Oh, don't tell me you forgot. The challenge has already started. I vaguely recall you saying something about that, so what kind of challenge is it? Get a turkey while you're bowling with us and win an amazing prize. A turkey? That was three strikes in a row, right? Hi. Yes, that's it. And what's the prize? A turkey! So you get a turkey for a turkey? Precisely. Someone thought it'd be very funny. Pull a turkey and get a delicious turkey to eat. A perfect, uh, it's perfect for cri the Christmas season. To be honest, I never had turkey before. What? Are you serious? That crispy skin, that juicy meat, nothing beats a plump bird roasted to perfection. Damn it, now I'm hungry and I just ate. You've been missing out big time. Roast turkey is the best. Oh, God, it is. She makes it sound good. Now I really want to try it. Alright, in that case, I'm up for the challenge. I knew you would be. I hope you do get a turkey in both meaning, uh, meanings and the wor other word. Ah, can talk. Alright, well in that case, I'll just play solo. How many frames would I like to play? We'll go 10 frames just to give me more chances to get that turkey. And now, let's see how good I am at getting three strikes in a row. Uh, that's not going to get it. I should have given it a little bit of a spin. He's determined to get that turkey. Damn it. It's always the middle pin that's just the big biggest the biggest middle finger to me. Mm. Oh, come on. Hmm. Damn it. Missed. Alright, let's try for the A pounder. Ooh, that's a lot of speed. Might not I should have given him more spin. Ugh. God, I what was the trick to this? I remember getting like strikes left and right last time we were bowling. Come on, knock it over, knock it over. Uh. That's a miss. Or not. Wow, really? Maybe I'm giving it too much speed. I think it had to be like around 95 or something. There we go.
I need to give it a slight spin. This should do it. A oh, what? Ugh. Oh, that was way too much speed. Probably should have given it a slight spin. Ugh. Too much speed. That's still got a strike. Oh, uh, come on! Okay, maybe it's right down the middle at like 80 or 90, because I'm not giving it enough speed. Hi, dragon. Hang on a second. We're bowling. Going for the gold. That strike is for you, dragon. And so are these guns. Maybe. Possibly. Where are they? Dragon, thank you so much for the raid. I'm gonna guess by that Epon that you were playing some Ninjala tonight. Hopefully, uh, your Ninjala runs were going well. How goes real estate? Uh, real estate's going relatively slow, just because we're starting to work our way up to the second billionaire. So for now, we're just bowling to kill some time while collections go through, and we're trying to get ourselves a turkey by getting a turkey and bowling. Which is, if you don't know, we need to get three strikes in a row. And already I failed the challenge because I missed out on that one at the ninth at the ninth uh, bowl. So now I'm just gonna see how well I do here. A few tech you at the start. Yeah, that's to be expected. Ah, should have given this spin. All right, fine, whatever. It's not like I was going to get that turkey anyways. It's a, shame. it's a shame you didn't get a turkey. In that case, hope to see you again soon. But the bot is working good, and the Discord is being promoted. That's good. All right, let's try again. I got plenty of money to burn. Alright, 
So right down the middle, around 85. That should be it. Or 76. That's probably not going to get a strike. Ah! Why do you spin in place and not fall over? Why don't I just throw the ball? Hmm. This is probably not going to do it. No, maybe it will. Ah! How did I jinx myself? Too much spin, too much spin. Oh, got it. Alright, this has to do it. There we go. Alright, there's what I need to do. Uh, come on, knock it over, knock it over! Yes! Got it! Alright, two in a row. Come on, don't screw this up. Mm. Come on, you got this, Kiryu. You got this! Come on, no! Uh, how, how did those two stand up? That was the same exact spot! We almost had it. Oh, that is way too much. Huh. We're just going to be here nothing but Kiryu's grounds of frustration tonight, aren't we? That's a gutter ball. Or not. Yes, also mine, apparently. I just want a good Christmas turkey. Is that too much to ask for? I'm the president of a company, for crying out loud. I want to treat my employees well. Alright, this has to do it. There's no way it cannot get a strike this way. You, you, Ooh. ew! I don't like canned ham. Damn it. We actually almost had it there. It was so close. I'm gonna single-handedly keep this place in business with how many times I'm gonna be bowling in this damn place.
come on. Ah. Uh. You know, at this point, just go for a gutter ball. Alright, there's one. Have any suggestions for the Discord server? Eh, not really. You got a pretty path with a lot of channels, and I can't really think of anything. Maybe like, uh... <clears throat> Spoiler stuff, daily life vacation, to art, gaming, maybe something like uh, TV or movie talk, just to talk about like uh, shows or movies people have watched. Huh. Oh god, the dreaded 710 split! the exact things how did okay fine whatever At this point, I don't know if we're ever going to get uh, the prize for this competition. Come on, come on, knock it over, knock it over! Ah! Uh. Yeah, that was a complete and total whiff. God, what what even is that setup there? Holy hell. this 86 go to here all right that seems to be it slightly to the right of the center around 86 and give it a slight spin to the left I'll do one more if we don't get the prize for this we'll just head back to the office and see if we can uh, get our collection also maybe stop at the temple if I do have enough CP Hmm. 
Thinking not enough speed. Definitely not enough speed. <clears throat> Way too much spin. Uh, so close. Come on, come on, knock it over, knock it over, come on! Ugh. Oh, that's bad. I gave it too much power. Hopefully this will do it, do it, please. Come on. Oh, thank God. Oh, this, this isn't good. Please, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, knock it over! Ah! We were on the cusp of greatness. We almost had it. And then my finger slipped and knocked it at 70. Huh. Oh, it's always that back left one. Need to wait a little bit longer. Or oh, that still worked. I think I gave it. No, I gave it too much reach. It's not gonna make it. No, I should have given it more spin. Thank God. Those two strikes and that one that we missed out on just, uh, it hurt so much. Mm. Alright, well, let's head back to the office. See how collections are going. They should be done by now. Let's see, real quick. How many CP do I have? Eight. Oops, wrong way. Oh, what? I can't tell you how much we appreciate you joining us, Adi Cocoon. Hmm? 
I am grateful and honored to hear that, sir. I'll give it my all. <laughs> good, good. That's the spirit. I'm glad we decided to hire some new staff this year, and that someone as qualified as you applied. Hiring new staff, huh? We're still short-staffed, among other things. Posting job openings might help. Right outside the office. All right. Wrong way. Uh, hold on. Let me get my bike. All right. Come on. Let's get this over with. Is it in the shop? I guess so. Maybe we have to talk to Marina. Yep, there we go. Oh dear. What's the matter? Oh, Mr. President. I was just thinking in about a workload. We're really short on staff. I was thinking the same thing. We've been managing more properties these days, but our hiring hasn't kept pace. So, I wanted to ask if you were alright with for me to try and recruit some new employees. So we'd post a job opening? Hi. Yes, at this rate we're going to be overwhelmed by the workload soon. We should take steps to avoid that now. Right, I was just thinking it might be good to get some new blood in here too. <laughs> Yay, that settles it. I'll start recruiting. Uh. Great, go ahead. Make us look good. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have you handle the applicant interviews, Mr. President. Nani. Interviews? Me? I, I can't do that. What are you talking about? You're the head of this company. You're definitely on the hook for this. Mm. <sighs> okay, you're doing it, Mr. President. I'll let you know when we get any incoming applicants, so please be ready. Got it. I thought the girl in the painting's neck had a giant hole in it, and then I realized it was her earring. <laughs> Alright, how goes collections? Got us ready. Eh, not a bad haul. Ooh, actually did a little bit better. Still need more money for, uh... From that place. Ah, so close. All right, he's too tired to do anything. Let's get. Which one's the uh, electronics is the next one? So we want to keep the people off electronics. Pleasure. Uh... Wow, I only have three security guards. Alright, we'll put her back in charge here. Who's in charge here? Oh, him. Oh, it's better than having a minus two, so yeah, he can go here. Welcome to doing taxes simulator. What do you got for me? If we get a new applicant, I'll let you know. Please be ready. All right, I guess I'll leave and come back, and then I'll get new applicants in.
Oh, there she is. Anything new? Oh, Mr. President, about that job opening. We have an applicant. Great. What do you want to do? Do you want to do the interview now? Let's do it. Hopefully it's something for security, because we definitely need more security guard for the team. Okay, sure. I'll interview the candidate. Oh, we just... Uh, I just went out for a smoke break. How? Great, let's get going then. Oh, but wait a minute. You're not going to conduct an interview looking like that, are you? Sure I am. So? Well, you don't really look like the president of a company. We'll need to make you look more dignified and... Uh... Uh, sag Sagarius? I guess. Saggy what? What does that have to do with anything? No, not saggy. You know. Uh, Sagarius. Like, intelligent. Oh, I know. <laughs> why, do, why do glasses actually work pretty well on Kiryu? See, they look good on you. Those glasses you left lying around really suit you. They make you look both dignified and intelligent. Didn't expect to be wearing these again, actually. Looks like we're all set. I'll call in the applicant. Applicant will be here soon. Please evalu evaluate him to see if he's really motivated to work for us. Test for motivation. Right. Hi. Right. Apparently, there are applicants out there who only attend interviews to get cab fare for co from companies. Are people really sinking to scams that low? Don't worry. I can spot people like that a mile away. Where does that confidence come from? Also, what, what happened to that giant table that we had in here? Here he comes. Why doesn't he come in? You have to tell him to come in. No applicant would enter without permission. I don't get it. Please, just tell him to come in. He'll hurt his knuckles if he keeps knocking. Come in. Excuse me. Kiryu you threw it out the window. <laughs> I'm Hariko Kun. Or Hari Hariko Ijin. I'm honored to meet you. Yes, likewise. Doesn't he see the chair? Why doesn't he sit down? You have to invite him to sit. No job seeker would take a seat without being asked. Daddy. What the hell is that about? Is this supposed to be funny? He's not fooling around. Job seekers are dead serious. Please, let him sit. B please, have a seat. Thank you. This is already exhausting. Is this gonna go on for much longer? It hasn't even begun. At least ask him a few questions. You need to determine if he would be a good fit for us. A question. Hmm. Why did you apply for us? What kind of woman do you like? Or what color is your underwear? Well, we gotta be a good president, so why did you apply for us? Why did you apply for with us? Real estate is a business that serves one of the three basic human needs. Food, clothing, and shelter. It's one it, it, it's one that is closely tied to people's daily lives. Someone working in such an industry would have to be trustworthy. They would also bear great responsibility. But that's where I see a worthwhile change. I've also heard that your firm isn't afraid to put new recruits in charge of accounts right away. I felt this... I felt this job would give me a great opportunity to, uh, uh, opportunity to really grow. <laughs> wow, that little speech rolled right off his tongue. He must have practiced a lot. Huh? I'm impressed, Mr. President. You can actually run an interview. Please, keep going and see if Ijun san is the sort of person who would work with work out for us. Got it. Uh, let's see. Strengths... Are you have you experienced failure? Are you willing to do anything? 
Well, we gotta ask him his strengths, of course. What are your strengths? Well, I'm fluent in English. I've lived in the States as a child, so I managed most of the business dealing in English. Also, I was the head of our university's tennis club. I often organized events and socials, and I think it made a good planner and organizer. He does appear to be very communi communi uh, communicative. He seems like he has many friends, too. Yeah, maybe. Have you ever experienced any failure? Failure? Hmm, no, not especially. I feel like I can deal with just about anything life throws my way, so no, can't say I know what it's like to fail. He must be especially blessed, or maybe he's just lucky. Who knows? Are you willing to do anything? Like, say, throw a person out of a window? Ejun, if you were to join my company, would you be willing to do anything? Yes, I eagerly await being able to exceed your expectations. All right, you, me, karaoke bar, we're going to be sending judgment all night long. So, anything. Yes, absolutely. I came to this interview to prove just how dedicated I can be. Isn't that amazing? There's no hesitation at all. He sounds primed and ready to go. We'll see about that. I think that's about all for the questions I we have for you. Ejun, do you have any questions for us? Questions? Uh, no, nothing in particular. Oh, yes, actually, I heard that your firm makes hiring decisions on the spot. Is that true? Hi. Yes, you heard right. The president and I would like to confer about it. So if you could just give us a moment. What shall we do? Should we hire him? Huh? We decide now? Right now? Hi. Yes, the longer it takes, the more it'll cost. We can't afford to sit on our, on our decisions. How tight-fisted can you be? Ijun was eloquent in describing the way he wanted to join us. He can also speak English, play, uh, plan events, and work well with people. What should we do? You know what? I like the cut of your jib. You're hired. You're hired. Really? Thank you very much. Congratulations. Please, take this for your cab fare. Thank you. Wonder what you'll be paying me. Pardon? Uh, th nothing. I just got lost in my own thoughts. It's really nothing. I know it's short notice, but we'd like you... We'd like to have you start tomorrow if you can. Does that work for you? Hi. Certainly. I'll see you bright and early. We're counting on you. You won't be disappointed. Why do I get the feeling I've made a bad decision? Mm. Ejun sounds awfully late. Uh. Yeah, maybe he forgot. I'll call him at home. Uh. Yeah, thanks. What is this with this really sad music? I hope he didn't get into an accident or anything. What? Oh, no! What's wrong? It says the number you've called is not in service. What? Oh, dear. We were totally conned. He must have come in just to get cab fare out of us. You've got to be kidding. But he was able to tell us why he wanted to join us in such eloquence. I guess we weren't very good judges of character. We'll have to start over. I'll put up more wanted ads out. Uh, yeah, thanks. Hi. Sure thing. That guy completely fooled me. I can't make the same mistake again. If I ever come across him, you know I'm going to drop a bicycle on his head. It's only fair. I gotta get my money back from him. Uh, how's the team doing here? He's got... Uh, they got... They're good for one more round, and then I need to swap them out. Uh, team here. 
Uh, they're pretty good, so they should be able to make a bit more money. Zero, and I got no one there. I said go uh, with the more stuttering ones, the more confident ones seem to be scammers. Yeah, so, so you're saying I'd be good at a job interview then, Dragon? You think I, I could get a job working for Kiryu? I, I honestly hope that we do come across him out here in the streets because I want to beat the ever-living hell out of him for pulling a fast one on us. I just want to drop a bicycle on his head. Is that too much to ask for? Nope! God damn it. You'll need to learn Japanese first. Oh, he's got a sword! Oh, for me, you shouldn't have. But I would gladly take it. Alright. Well, it wasn't him, but I had to get that out of my system. And now to go bullying to get very angry again. there. 88, that's good enough. Give it a little bit of a spin, and this should give us a strike. Hopefully. Please, 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 please. Come on! Good strike. Uh, how did... Oh, my God. I think I need to give it a little bit more space. Or maybe for, th for that one, I shouldn't have given it any spin. Oh, well. Just imagine the pins at the guy's face. At that point, I'd probably just march myself across there and just start beating the ever-living hell out of the pins. Gutter. Ah, not a gutter, but missed. That's... Yep, that's not going to do it. Hmm. 
All right, I want to test something real quick. Look at that. Go to 82, I guess, and we'll go for a two spin. Uh, so close. Maybe if I went for the three spin there. I'm trying to find that sweet spot that is always a guaranteed strike. Uh, almost. If I gave it a little bit more speed, that probably would have been a strike. Am I just not giving it enough speed? It has to be. It, it's not fast enough. Hmm. Got a ball. Alright, this has to do it. Huh. Or not even close. Okay, so it has to be more geared towards the center. There we go. Ah, not fast enough. Come on, knock it over. Thank you. Come on, baby. Come on. You can do it, Kiryu. I believe in you. Yes, got it. Final three. Ow, my hands. Ah. Mm. Wow, you got a turkey. Congratulations. That's what happens when I don't hold back. And the special prize for customers who get a turkey is an actual turkey. Here comes my delicious turkey. Oh, look at look at that happy smile on his face. Look, look at look at that. Look look at that just genuine smile. He is so happy. Hi. So, I won't keep you waiting. Here's your turkey. Ta-da. Uh, ma'am. That turkey's kind of small, don't you think? Mmm, a turkey. With a crispy skin, juicy inside, a plump bird roasted to perfection. It's a bit fresher than I thought. Oh, yes, well, we didn't specify when we ordered, and this was what they sent us. And it's not even a turkey, it's a chicken. Look at it. Oh my, you're absolutely right. How did that happen? Oh, come on, what am I supposed to do with a live chicken? I'm terribly sorry. The least I can do is cook it for you. We've got a kitchen in the back. It's fried chicken. Okay, is fried chicken okay? You're gonna cook it now? Hi. Yes. So at least you'll get a meal out of it. But that means you'll you'll have to kill this chicken. That's no problem. I grew up on a poultry farm. Oh, you did? No. Wait. Give me a minute to think about it. <laughs> He's giving me the sad eyes. Mm -hmm. Um, this chicken. I want to keep it. Mm -hmm. What? You're going to keep it? As a pet? Uh. 
Is that not allowed? No, it's fine, but I thought you wanted it cooked. You know, a juicy roast chicken with a crispy skin. Well, I can have that some other time. Um, okay then. This is your chicken now. Congratulations. Hello, chicken. Your name will be... <laughs> Nugget. What? What? Nugget has joined your team as a manager? And why is it so good? Oh god, I'm so happy Tamo's not here. Oh my god, I cannot believe that Nugget is a manager for the team now. We hired a chicken, and the chicken is actually a pretty good manager. Holy hell. He's better than our last applicant. What the? Oh, you. I want to beat you up. You got money on you. Wait, who the, who the hell are you? Who's this guy? I can't believe. Uh, thanks, I guess, random good Samaritan. I mean, I kind of was the one who instigated the fight, but all right. The perfect crime, and I've gotten away with it. All right, Marina, what do you got for me? Mr. President, about the job opening, we have another applicant. What kind of person is it this time? This time, the applicant is a girl. I read her application. She has neat handwriting, and her photo is pretty cute. Maybe an officer to, to, and took the opportunity. Yeah, maybe he was an off-duty cop. Mr. President, you better not hire her based on looks. Why is there a chicken here? Uh, yeah, that, this is our new team manager. This is Nugget. He is also going to be the company mascot. Alright, let's do this. I swear, this is another scam. You know, it's kind of a pain to put on glasses every time I do an interview. Can I just interview like this? Oh, heavens no. It's important for you to look intelligent. If you say so. Help wanted. Again. I mean, could I just keep the glasses in my breast pocket or get a glasses case? Do I really have to come here to put them on? Wait a minute. Are you just making me wear these because you like them? Well, um, actually... Oh, here's our next candidate. It's time for the interview. Guess you're off the hook for now. Come in. Excuse me. I'm Sakuraku, uh, uh, Jogasaki. Pleased to meet you. Yes, likewise. Oh, right. Please, have a seat. Thank you. She seems so ladylike. Yes, apparently her family runs a traditional Japanese inn. Maybe she helps out there? Makes sense. I can see her wearing a kimono. Well, better ask her some questions. We need to figure out if she's a good fit here. Right, so... Uh, Jogasaki-san... Why don't you take a minute and tell us about yourself? Hi. Yes, certainly. I'm impressed. This sounds like a real interview. <laughs> I picked up a book on interview techniques. You're studying on your own? 
I'm glad you're finally taking your presidential responsibility secret. No, I just use it to beat a guy to death. Well, naturally. Um, may I begin? Oh, right. Sorry. Please do. Okay. Uh, my name is Sakuraku Jogasaki. I majored in business at administration. My biggest strength is that I have actual work experience. My family runs a tradi uh, traditional inn, so I worked with guests daily while growing up. When we were short-staffed, I would even put in char I was even put in charge of the kitchen. I learned how to cook from pros. If I ever get the chance, I would love to bring you a traditional meal. I'm confident about my eagerness and fitness. It means I don't give up easily. I very much hope you will give me the opportunity to prove myself to you. Also, I often get asked at interviews, so I will save you the bother of doing so. I'm wearing plain white underwear. Thank you. Wow, that was solid. She even told us the color of her underwear to shut th that down quick. She's amazing. Yeah, now I don't have to ask her. Kiryu! Let's talk about what she just told us. Was there anything you wanted to get more details on? Why aren't you taking over the family inn? What can you cook? Why do you feel comfortable in your fitness? Uh, why, why isn't she working at her inn? Did she just want a different change of pace? Why aren't you taking over your family inn? Well, I do find the job rewarding in its own way, and I love interacting with guests. However, it's also a very small and closed world. The entire day revolves around the inn and nothing else. Even if I were to eventually inherit the inn, I would like to broaden my horizons out here in the real world before I settle down into that role. Wow, she got it all figured out. She does? Why do you feel confident in your fitness? You said you have confidence in your fitness. Why is that? I belong to a dance club in my at my university. Dancing is more physically taxing than it may appear, so I think it actually helped me build my endurance. I see. I imagine you doing traditional dancing for your guests. Or maybe you can just do that once you take over the inn. Perhaps, but for now I would rather find fulfilling work at your firm than think about my family inn. So she dances. I bet she looks great doing a traditional dance in a kimono. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Kiryu! What should we need? Alright, uh, what can you cook? You said you were a good cook. What is, what's your signature dish? Hi. Let's see, I'm quite good at meatloaf, omelets with rice filling. Hmm, what else? Oh, I make a pretty great white sauce. I uh, often use it for preparing uh, gratins in European European pasta dishes. Oh, that's impressive. You can make white sauce from scratch, and you're so worldly. That's impressive. It's easy to overcook white sauce, you know. Until I got the hang of it, I found it a challenge, too. Assuming I get the job, I'd be happy to bring in for some, bring some in for you to try. Hey, this is a job interview, not a restaurant. Alright. Oh, she actually does have a question for us. Not to be too forward, but is there a large inquiry gap between men and women here? N no, I wouldn't say that. Thank you. It's a great relief to hear that. Times are changing, you know. I was hoping I could find a job where it let me work here just as, just as hard as any man. We have to hire her, Mr. President. She's a keeper for sure. Hmm, I'm not so sure about that. What's there to think about? A girl this uh, uh, courageous and, and so eager to work is a rare find these days, this day and age. She seems that way, sure, but there's something not quite right here that I'm trying to figure out. Is there something wrong? Yeah, something's off. Something she said doesn't jive. You mean she's lying about something? Uh. Yeah, I can't quite put my finger on it, though. What'd she say that stuck you as inconsistent? Ask for a summary. Ask why she isn't taking over the family inn again. Ask what she can cook again. Ask why she is confident about her fitness. Point out the inconsistency in her statements. <laughs> Underwear. Underwear.
point out the inconsistency in her statements. Which pair of statements didn't jive? Uh, what didn't seem right about her? I forgot. Not taking over the end, signature dishes. Not taking over the end, confidence and fitness. Signature dishes and fitness. Uh, okay, let, let's go over this. So, she can cook. She, uh, she can cook the stuff of the white sauce. The fitness, she went to university. But wait, it, she went to university, but she said she grew up working at her family's uh, inn, right? You said you have confidence in your fitness. Why is that? I belong to a dance club at my university. Dancing is more physically taxing. some of yourself again Hi. let's see majored in business at administration my biggest strength is i have actual work experience my family runs a tr traditional inn so i've worked with guests daily while growing up when we were short staffed i was even put in charge of the kitchen and learned how to cook from pros if i ever got a chance i would love to bring a traditional meal i'm confident about my eagerness and fitness it means i don't give up easily i very much hope you will give me the opportunity to prove myself And why isn't she taken over again? Hi. I find the job rewarding in its own way, and I love interacting with the guests. However, it is also a very small and closed world. The entire day revolves around the inn, and nothing else. Even if I were to eventually inherit the inn, I would like to broaden my horizons out there in the real world before I settle into the role. But how could she be at the inn if she's at a university doing dance? Exactly! Summary and not taking over the inn. Summary and signature dishes. Some, uh, let's see. Not taking over the inn. Uh, not taking over the inn in confidence and fitness. Is that it or would it be her summary? Uh, was it summary or was it uh, not taking over? She said her whole day revolves around the, the inn. Exactly. But I would it be summary or would it be not taking over? I think it might be not taking over the inn. Just seeing what everyone else's input on this is. I could always reread it and see. Hi. Short staff, you can take charge. I'm confident in all that, so that's her summary. Find a job rewarding, and I'd love interacting with the guests. However, it's also a very small and closed world the entire day. Okay, so it is taking over the inn. It's a reason for not taking over the family inn and her confidence and fitness. I think those statements don't jive. Hmm, I didn't notice any discrepancies in those statements. You think so? The inconsistency must be somewhere... Oh, what? Well, given what happened last time, but I can understand why you would be cautious. But she's a rare find. Mr. President, you can have one more chance to find an inconsistency, but after that, we have to hire her. Nani? Just hang on a second. Something doesn't match up here, and I'm sure of it. I'll find it. Uh, okay, so it wasn't that. What about her sign signature dish again? But there's something I want to ask again. You said you're a good cook. What are your signature dishes? Let's see. Good at meatloaf, omelets, and rice. What else? Pretty uh, great white sauce. I often use it for preparing uh, garnets and European pasta dishes. <laughs> Assuming the job, I'm happy to bring in some for you to try. Oi. Hmm.
right, so if it wasn't... <clears throat> what happens last time, but I can understand why I'd be cautious. Hmm. I'm thinking it might be confidence and fitness. Wait a second. Wait a second. Her family runs a traditional Japanese inn, but what she cooks, that's technically not traditional Japanese food. She can make meatloaf omelets, European dishes, preparing garments and white sauce. Yeah, that's not a traditional uh, meal from Japan. Meatloaf is an American thing. Nani? Yeah, the summary in her signature dishes. It's her summary in her signature dishes. Those two statements don't add up. Really? Well, now that I think about it, maybe you're onto something. Jokasaki, there's something inconsistent about your story. Inconsistent? What might that be? You said your family runs a traditional Japanese inn, and that you helped out there on a daily basis. Yes, that's correct. You said you were put in charge of the kitchen, which made you a better cook. Is that a problem? If I'm working in a kitchen, it's only natural that I should become a better cook. How could that be inconsistent? Marina? I'd like to say you... Let's say you were to stay at a traditional inn. What kind of dinner would you expect? <laughs> well, if it's, a if it's a traditional inn, I would, of course, be... It would be Japanese cuisine, like sashimi and nimono. Oh, and in winter, a hot pot would be wonderful. Uh. Right, and what's Jokasaki good at cooking? Meatloaf, omelet with rice, white sauce for gratin, and... Oh! I don't know about you, but that's no traditional inn... But no traditional inn I know of would serve those dishes. Have anything to say for yourself, Jokasaki? That's the face of a guilty person. Tch. Wow, you're really gonna nitpick me on something that minor, huh? I bet you aren't. Oh, I bet you're a real hit with the ladies. Jokasaki? Huh? Yes, you're right. I made it all up. Grew up in a traditional inn? Are you kidding? I came up with that to spruce up my resume. So what? But... Incidentally, I also lied about being a good cook. I got too carried away with the details, I guess. Was everything a lie? Even the part about doing traditional dance at school? You're the ones who assumed it was traditional dance. I really do belong to a dance club at school. But my kind of dance is hip-hop. Hip-hip-hop? I'm so done here. Hurry up with my cab fare. I'll settle for 20000 Jeez, that's how much we paid the last guy? Holy hell. Okay. Wait, we don't pay scammers. If she dances out, I will laugh. Huh? That's not what you promised. The posting said I get cab fare for taking an interview. Why else would I bother coming? You should be ashamed, you liars. Seems to me you're a liar, too. It's okay for you to lie, but not us. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You don't make a damn bit of sense. Uh? You just don't want to face the facts. Get over yourself, princess. I bet you got everything you wanted your whole life, huh? Well, wise up. Out in the real world, nobody is going to pay you for your self-centered lying through your teeth. Uh? The real world is a jungle, not a playground. And nobody gets anything they don't earn, so get out of my sight. Ah! Uh. Damn it. I love no-nonsense, Kiryu. It's the best. Sheesh. Sheesh. I hope we never get... I n hope I never get on your bad side, Mr. President. 
Uh, yeah, sorry for shouting. It's okay, but wow, that was impressive how you caught that incons inconsistency in her story. I didn't realize it until you pointed it out. Yeah, it was kind of impressive, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm beginning to find a new respect for you, President Kiryu. Oh, but I guess we have to start over with recruiting. Uh, yeah, thanks for taking care of that. Of course, sir. Your ace secretary has your back. Well, you got a motorcycle coming your way if you don't get on his if you get on his bad side. All right, payments ready. Hmm, not bad. All right, made a little bit more than what was already there. All right, but those two need a break. All right, let's see. Let's put Nugget in charge. Cluck, 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 cluck. Nugget, you're in charge of electronics. You got th this portly fellow with you. Ugh, economy's down, though. Alright, well that's an A rank at least, so at least we'll get a bit more money coming our way. And please do not eat the chicken. Alright, well, let's see if we got a postcard bread. Today's feature postcards from our listener. Hey! Oh, oh no. Oh no. I remember what we sent in. I'm terrified. Hello, hello, Dos Kamiya san. Hello. I love your show. Regular listener. Thank you. The other day, I saw a young boy wanting to buy a shrink wrapped magazine from a vending machine. Shrink wrapped? Oh no. One of those, huh? The boy told me he asked his mother about the magazine in the vending machine and she flipped her lid. Well, Kazakun, what would be the right response? The boy was losing faith in grown-ups. That wasn't right, so I decided to buy a magazine for him. Wait, what? Y you lost me there, Judgment Kazi. Even as a grown-up, buying something like that is a little embarrassing. Who knows? Maybe someday they'll come. Uh, they'll come in the mall in the mail. P.S. What does "dos" mean, "dos kamisan"? I have to wonder about the judgment of Judgment Kazakun here. What's in store for the little boy? By the way, the dulce part of my name means sweet in Italian. But you can't sweet talk me up after that little letter, Kazakun. That's one... That one's got me going sour. That's the second time Judgment Kazakun has a postcard featured on the show. If you get on the air three times, you win a deluxe gift worth a cool million yen. Get the postcards coming, listeners. Oh, it's time already? Too bad. Too, too sad. But that's our show for today, folks. All right, then. Make sure you tune in again. Goodbye, and see you next time. All right, got on the air. Mr. President, is something the matter? Uh, yeah, I mean, no, it's, uh, nothing. All right. What should our next postcard be? Uh, what are our choices still? Alright, so we got Undercover and Camarocho, or Lesson in s and M. What do you, What do you think, everybody? Well, did we know we would actually get it on little supercomputers in our pockets? Oh, God, of course you would pick s and Oh, both of you picked s and M. I'll write about training a dominatrix how to be a better at her job. Put yourself out there, Mr. President. Huh? Just don't read it, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm surprised they they haven't caught on that Kiryu just keeps sending it to the radio show, seeing as how, you know, he's got it on full blast and is staring at that radio as it goes on. 
All right. Well, while collection is going on, uh, let's take a visit to the temple as well as buy up some new property. They don't want to be rude. I'm pretty sure Marina's already aware as to what Kiryu is doing. All right, just need to avoid that area. All right, so everything over here is property that we can still buy up. So might as well just start going through here and see what we can get. Nope, nothing here. Here you come on. Yep, nothing there. Yep, nothing there. Uh, nothing there. Is there a shakedown going on around here? Ah, there they are. Boink! And... Bonk. I thought he was gonna give him, like, the, an atomic wedgie for a second. As he was reaching for them pants. Tough and slight, eh. Hey, Bob. Alright, let's see. Business side. We are still 18 short on quick collection. Mr. Shakedown's deep pockets. We can get more money from Shakedown. You know what? Let's do that. Get gather more money from enemies. Let uh, get celebrity perfume accessory. Enable upgrades up to a certain battle style beyond its limits. And get a gun. Yeah, that's how, that's us that's how Mubot works, Dragon. You did not unsee me. Uh oh. Ah, ah! Please don't hit me! Hmm? What are you talking about? You're not the victim here, you filth! Ah! ah. Quit making a scene. People who think will think we're the bad guys. Hey, you two. I don't know what's going on, but take it easy. You're clearly stronger than her. Uh -huh. huh? Stay out of this. This woman is filth, and she needs to learn her lesson. Yeah. No way. I'm not going to sit back while you guys beat up a defense defenseless woman. Uh -huh. huh? Well then, we'll just have to kick your ass first then. You can't watch out. Uh, you can't watch if you're cold. How cold? That makes sense, except the kicking my ass part. Real funny. Eat this! He's got a taser. Oh god, he's got a taser. 
Nope, not letting you. Zap. And that's why you should always have a taser. Please! Enough! Stop! Sorry for that ruckus. Oh no, not at all. You saved my life. Thank you so much. Kiryu literally radiates fuck shit aura. That's why... So why do people keep messing with him? They don't know better. Please, take this. Got a toughness... Uh, it's better than what I got originally. Oh, I should know that's not nearly enough for you saving me. Yeah. No, no, it's too much already. Oh, please. I couldn't possibly let you go w w with so little. If I may... I would like to thank you more fittingly. Do you have some time? I I don't like where this is going. But I'm going to go go along with it anyways. Yes, I'm free for a bit, but Oh, you do? Thank you. But this is hardly the place. Can we go somewhere we can sit and talk? Uh. Sure. We're going to go to some place, she's going to order expensive food, and she's just going to walk out on us. This already looks like an expensive restaurant. Oh, man. It's those game tables. Hell yeah. Oh, man, we got Space Invaders. Thank you again for saving me. I'm also sorry for not introducing myself sooner. I'm Nezu. I'm Kiryu. Kiryu-san. I'm sorry I asked you to join me here, but I simply couldn't let you go without make it, without thank you properly. Uh. It's no problem, but what exactly did you have in mind? Oh. Yes, yes, I shouldn't keep you. This is it? Mm. Is that some kind of soda? It's aha water. Mm. Aha water? Oh. Yes, drinking it removes impurities from your blood. You're... Circulation will improve noticeably. It leaves your face feeling supple and smooth. It's also... It can also be used for cooking. It enhances all the delicacies of natural flavors and ingredients. Oh, that's impressive. My diet hasn't been the greatest lately. I do worry about my health. <laughs> A man living on his own can clearly... Slide into poor eating habits. Yes, that is completely understandable. Kiryu-san, since you saved my life, I can help you a huge... I can give you a huge discount on this. She is literally just trying to sell us some miracle water, isn't she? A hot water costs 1.5 million yens for a month's supply. For you, I can offer it for just a million yen. 90. What? This water costs so much that a million is a discount? It's only natural that one should spend money on a product this fantastic. You can't put a price on your health. But just drinking this water will do that? Ah, Kiryu, you, you're too trusting. Yes, yes. It does wonder for your vitality. I hear that men benefit from steel hard firmness, too. You know, down there. Smooth circulation, supple skin, and steel vitality. No, please, I didn't want to have a close-up on Kiryu's crotch. Yes, yes. Ample resolved. Ready to sprint into action, so you will buy AHA water for a million yen? No! Wait, wait, wait. I'm in no position to be blowing money on water at the moment. Oh, but there's nothing to worry about. You see, you'll only be short on money temporarily. Temporarily? Yes, you see, curious son once you buy AHA water... You get the right to introduce AHA water to your family and friends, and they can buy- Oh god, this is a pyramid scheme. She is literally trying to get me in on a pyramid scheme right now. If you were to sell AHA water for the regular price of 1.5 million yen, Kiryu-san, you get to keep 500,000 as your commission. So you're basically saying 
that at a million yen for mine, if I get two acquaintances to buy, I get mine for free. Exactly, Kiryu-san. You catch on quick. Plus, the more I sell to people I know, the more profit I can make. I couldn't put it any better. It's like the goose that lays the golden eggs. Water is worth its weight in gold. I'm gone for a minute, and all I see is Kiryu's crotch. <laughs> for each acquaintance that buys, I make 500,000. If it's 10 acquaintances, it's 5 million yen. If it's 100 acquaintances, 50 million yen? Yes, exactly. Isn't it a fantastic opportunity? Absolutely not! Yeah. How can you call that fantastic? I can't imagine trying to sell water to anyone I know. Absolutely not! Oh my goodness, such negativity. Kiryu, you obviously have doubts about the benefits of AHA water. I forgot to mention, but AHA water's benefits include rejuvenation too. I've been drinking it for about six months, Kiryu-san. How old do you do I look to you? Late 40s. Late 40s, right? Pardon? Yeah, late 40s or so. Around there. Well, yes, that's very true, but... I think that internally, I'm quite young. Like my organs. I bet they're very young. I would think so. It's all because of AHA water. It has so many benefits. Oh, I feel blessed I can drink water like this every day. I still don't want it. Of course, who wouldn't want to buy this fantastic water at such a steep discount? I knew you would. Wait, I beg your pardon? What? Did you just say no? Uh huh. Why would I need re rejuvenation effects? I'm only 20. Yeah, stubborn boy. I'm up to the challenge, though. What's your next move? Hello there, handsome. Hmm? You can just hear the dial-up tone in Kiryu's head. He's all yours. Okay, uh, she, she's got an accomplice. It's a tag team effort. Hey, who is this lady? Kiryu-san, I would like to introduce you to the AHA Water Sales Strategy Team Account Executive. I'm now. D delighted to meet you, Heart. Whoa, this lady's dynamite. You know, if you were to buy some AHA Water, it would make me oh so happy. So, so happy. Is, is that right? If you were to buy some AHA Water... I would be willing to throw in a little something to remember me by. A little something? Oh, you're gonna make a lady say it? I'll blush. But, it'll be just for you, Kiryu-san. If you buy our AHA water, you won't regret the satisfaction. Mm. Please, buy some AHA water. Pretty please. I'd love it if you bought some. Ooh, come on, Kiryu-san. Say you will. Please buy some AHA water for me. <gasps> okay, I, I'll i buy. I might be willing to buy. I'm not buying. I'll think about it. I'm not buying. I'm not buying. Sure, of course. But what you really mean is... What I, re what I really mean? Come on. I think I can buy. I'm willing to buy. I'll buy it. Sure, I'll buy. I'm really not buying it. I, I, I'm really not buying. I like that they're trying to hide it in there. They're, they're testing you to make sure you're paying attention. Did I just hear what I think I did? I said I'm not buying. I'm never gonna buy that water. But no man has ever resisted my sales pitch. Unbelievable. Use every trick in the book if you want, but I'm not spending my money on your water. What's so funny? You're truly an inspiration, Kiryu-san. I've never met anyone like you before. Now, Chan, I think we're done here. You can go. Okay. People who fall for shallow platitudes and the promise of money, people who get caught up in the moment, 
I have met many people like that. I feed off the foolishness of such people. I make them buy merchandise and I profit off their stupidity. But you seem to be different. We live in a time that is awash with money. They throw it around without considering where it goes. Who cares? But not you. You have the willpower to resist temptation. In fact, I never expected to meet someone like you. This is a small token to express how I feel. Would you take it, please? What? Thank. <laughs> Turning you down is hard work. I'm parched. Oh, you're thirsty? Here, have this! Oh, thanks. He just drank the water, didn't he? Hey, this is AHA water! Oh, it is! I'm sorry! It was here, so I just grabbed it! Hey, you're not going to try and charge me for it. Hmm? What the? I... I feel like I'm suddenly full of energy. It... I can feel my blood coursing through my veins! Yes, that's the power of AHA water. Do you believe now? I had hoped to share it with you at an enormous discount as thanks for saving me. It's very disappointing. Hmm. I have to be going. Goodbye, Kiryu-san. It actually was real. Or it's probably temporarily. Aha, water. I wish I could have tried it under better cir circumstances, but I feel like I'd lose no matter what. I, I have no idea what that exchange was, Dragon. Alright, what the hell did we get? Mew shoes. The annoying sound they make when you walk will mean confrontations are more likely. They are also said to give financial luck. Oh my god. Oh no. Ugh. Oh god, they stack! Oh, I hate it! Oh no, no, get him off, get him off! Oh god, no! Oops, what was that? Oh, oh my ears are saved. <laughs> Come on, you coward. No. You'll have to bribe me to wear them. No way in hell am I putting those things back on. Woo, 100 million. Holy shit. All right, let's see where we can buy some real estate. Challenge stream. Oh God, Moon, what are you planning? Oh, is this something? No, this is a restaurant, I think. Oh no, wait, no, this is a restaurant. Yeah, it's a restaurant. Sega. No, that's an arcade. <laughs> oh no. Pops, check out my new bat flip. God damn it. God damn it, dragon. All right. Vampires rule. You absolute madman, you know that? I'm gonna go insane from this. Uh, oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna be hearing this in my nightmares tonight. Ah, uh, make it stop! Make it stop! <laughs> he 
you, you motherfucker. Oh, wait, this is the pleasure cane area. this ah <laughs> oops imagine him bouncing his foot and it goes it goes mew every time <laughs> uh, all right I'm going to do once around, see what we can buy out, and then we're going to head back to the office. Oh god, I'm going to go insane by hearing these. No, I don't want to get over there! No, wait, was that something to buy out? Aside building number three, looks like it, they have a bunch of little bars as tenants here. Yeah, we can buy it out. Alright, back to my madness. Oop. Pachinko 777. Word on the street is that their machines have low payouts, but they're doing well. What should I do? Uh, not yet. I'm going to go insane. I am absolutely going to go insane. <laughs> You've done it, Mr. President. We've taken over 30% of the Electronic King's area. Let's keep increasing our share. Uh-oh. Uh you offered up a bride and made the payment. Yeah, speaking of which, what can you tell me about the Electronics King guy? If I remember correctly, he looked like an otaku. Yeah. The Electronics King is a member of the Five Billionaires who control the area around uh, Namakichi Street. He apparently has an IQ of 190, and he made his fortune by developing and inventing in cutting-edge technology. 90. An IQ of 190? That's something. Never would have guessed it from the look of him. That's not the only surprise. He's also supposed to be quite good at fighting, despite appearances. The word is a bunch of young thugs who considered the area to be their turf fought the Electronics King, but wound up joining his crew instead. So he's got brains, brawn, and a gang for when those fail. Yes, since we'll be making our move on their territory, we'll probably wind up clashing with them often. So the Electronics King managed to tame a bunch of young thugs. He's got an IQ of 190. I better watch out. Oh god, the muse, they don't stop in here! I forgot to tell you about upgrading the interior. You mean the decor here? Yes, I have an old connection who can help us change the interior of our office. For free, even. Free, huh? That's great. Now that you mention it, it's kind of boring if we're looking at the same four walls all the time. At the same four walls all the time. Might be good to change things up. I completely agree. If you want to upgrade the interior, just let me know. Okay, so now we can upgrade in here. <clears throat> can, can we have less cats in here? Alright, we got standard cool red, Terrence green, or urban gray. Let's go with cool red. I like it. Ah, everything feels fresh. Let me know if you want to change it again. Mm. Alright, what's Terrace Green? Ugh. I am not taking another step. 
Urban Gray is probably going to be the most boring out of all of them. Actually, no, I was going to say it kind of looked, looked like the uh, sound studio in here. Eh, it's not bad. It's not good either. I kind of like the red one most. All right, can I reach? Nah, I can't. Oh, I don't want to take a step. No! Uh, <laughs> I hate this. No, why did Nugget go for the pail? What the hell? Uh, need someone who's better with love stuff. Alright, well, that's everything. Sure, just so we can upgrade that stuff again. Alright, let's do another interview and then we'll take a break. I'm gonna go insane. I'm gonna go absolutely insane. Oh, Mr. President, about the job opening. We have another applicant. What kind of person is it this time? Well, I looked at the application, but the photo was blurry and the writing was messy and ill 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 eligible, jeez. But the applicant is a college graduate. Oi. Hey, is it just me or did the quality of our applicants just fall off a cliff? Huh. Ugh, don't get so picky. There aren't many college grads who are willing to apply for a company like ours. We're short on manpower and we don't have any other applicants, so beggars can't be choosers. Mm. I didn't know we were in such bad shape. Well, we are. So, what do you want to do? He's going to be the one, isn't he? Watch it be like some like 12-year-old boy who was like super smart. Put on your glasses. Okay. <laughs> ah, there's something about a solidly built man wearing glasses, you know? No. No, I don't. Oh, he's here. Let's do this interview. Uh. Yeah. It's gonna be some child genius, genius, isn't it? Come in. Excuse me. Alright, not what I was expecting. Uh, uh, I am... I'm Sichi Kozimiu. Please to heat you. Heat? S sorry. Uh, I, I bit my tongue. P please to meet you. Have a seat. Right. Thank you. Oh man, he's got portfolio. The guy's super nervous. Yes, he is. He's so nervous, he's giving me the jitters too. So, what kind of d guy do we have here? What does resume say? It says his ha handwriting is terrible. I could hardly read it. But I could determine that his name is Sichi uh, Ko Kosumichu. Uh, Koshi Mitsu, and he's a university grad. So we don't know anything about the guy. I'm surprised you even granted him an interview. I'm sorry. Frankly, we're desperate for any help we can get, but with this guy, I think we'll have to turn him down. Coming. I'll get the door. Wait. We had a doorbell, but he knocked? Sorry. We'll have to put the interview on hold. Certainly. Knock is more polite. All right. <coughs> so, you you like my new shoes? Kusumitsu, 
Why did you apply with us? Pardon? Um, isn't the interview on hold? I just thought I'd talk with you while we wait. That should help you break the ice and be less nervous, right? Uh, I, I guess that's true. Thank you. When I was young, my father ran a small real estate agency. Oh, so your family business was in real estate. Yes, I remember the smiling faces of customers when they were leaving his office. Nobody went away unhappy. My father always said he wanted to make people happy, though. His work, and I was always so proud watching him do it. It sounds like KH music. <laughs> what I don't understand is, at the time, was that he made a very little profit that way. Our finances were in shambles. I respect my father, but I don't want to be like him. Why is that? I want to make customers happy, but I also want to make my own family happy. The family I might have in the future. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I'm sure I probably sounded like some idealist kid with no knowledge of the real world experience. Kojimitsu, did you mean every word by what you just said? Uh, yes, I think so. P probably. I don't think I lied to you. Uh, he probably means what he said. He's not like the fake interviewees we had before. I think I can trust him with our work. But either way, I don't think I'll get the job here. What makes you say that? I overheard your secretary saying you have to turn me down. Damn, he heard that? I mean, she wasn't being subtle about it. I don't want to waste any more of your time. I think I should leave now. What? You're leaving? Yes, I'm sorry you had to do this for me. I don't need cab fare or anything. Hey, hold on. I think you deserve a chance. Don't just go. R really? But... In fact, I'm leaning towards hiring you. Huh? But you haven't even interviewed me yet. Sometimes you can tell the measure of a man by looking at him in the eye and having a conversation. Th th thank you very much, but your secretary said I'm not good enough. Yeah, that's the problem. I let Marina handle all the hiring decisions. If I want to hire Koshimitsu, he has to win her approval. Koshimitsu, there's only one thing I can tell you. Y yes? Do your best in the interview and win my secretary over. But I, I get really, really nervous. I always get rejected at after interviews if I even make it that far. It'll be fine. I'll help you as much as possible. So do your best. I, I'll do it. I might get nervous, but I'll give my uh, blessed effort. Oh boy, I have to help him out where I, I can so he can make a better impression on Marina. I'm sorry for the holdup. Shall we resume our interview? I, I, yes, please. I, I love interviews. I think this applicant is a bust. Let's get this over with it quickly and send him on his way so we can arrange for the next interview. Hey, no need to be cold about it. He gets too flustered. Even if he's a good worker, I can't have him getting all jittery in front of our clients. Okay, first things first. You have one minute, Kushimitsu. Tell us about yourself. Y yes! My name is C.G. Kusumitsu. Pleased to meet you. At at university, I majored in Eagle Studies. I think that will help me help you help people here. My, my, my strengths are animals like me. Uh, uh, my hobby, my hobby is to dine out. I know lots of good places to eat around here. Th that's all. Thank you for your time. Uh, your line. Time. I don't think he said a single thing that worked that's work-related. More like a personal ad, wasn't it? He kept stumbling, too. Some crazy lady was trying to sell me some weird water. Maureen is looking glum. If you don't turn this around, you're toast, Koshimitsu. You said you majored in Eagle Studies? Can you explain what that is? Uh-huh. I said that? Yes, you did. 
I think you said you could apply your knowledge of Eagle Studies to help us here. The, sorry, I don't remember saying anything. Knowing Koshimitsu, he's probably stumbled over his words out of nervousness. I better throw him a life vest. What did he mean by Eagle Studies? It must have been something that would be of some use to us here, but what? I, I, it has to be legal st uh, studies. Not regal, not be- What would beagle studies? They just study dogs? Alright, it has to be legal studies. That eagle studies thing? Did he mean legal studies? That would make sense. If he had knowledge of legal matters, it would come in handy at the real estate firm. The housing laws go hand in hand with our business. Kushimitsu, kun. Did you mean to say legal studies? I I yes, that's it. I have a legal studies degree. I'm sorry, I must have said something dumb. God, this kid radiates me so much. Legal studies. Well then, hmm. Marina seems to have a slightly better impression on Koshimitsu now. Let's see, your strength was that animals like you, your hobbies was dining out, so you know good places to eat, is that correct? Hi. Yes. Well, we don't have much time, we should ask him to get into either... to get into either of his strength or his hobby in detail. Which which would you like to hear about? He's a good impression on Koshimitsu will be useful in real estate. Would focus on his strength improve her impression of him or his hobby? Probably hobby because if he likes dining out he would have good idea where some good real estate locations we could poach from the competition would be. So it has to be his hobby. Tell us more about your hobby of dining out. Yes, I I love discovering good places to eat, so I uh, often dine out all over town. I've gone through Cam Camarocha thoroughly. I'm familiar with nearly all restaurants and the like in town. I think I know them all. Hmm, I honestly don't know about that hobby, Would how that hobby would be useful. All walking, he knows the dining scene. Uh, well, he has to know the dining scene. I think his knowledge of dining establishments could be invaluable. How do you figure? Dining establishments are commercial properties, too. Popular places might consider expansion. Unpopular restaurants might turn into vacant storefronts. I see. If dining out is his hobby, he might have up-to-date information on things like that. Hmm. Our pain has gone up a bit. Okay, let's move on to the final part. Mr. President, do you have any questions for koshimitsu kun <laughs> Questions from the President himself? Y y yes, indeed. I'm happy to answer any questions. Uh, okay. Your firm is an innovator of cutting-edge synergy that challenges the industry metrics. My career plan is a shared vision and engagement, insights, a uh, conversion. Koshimitsu, just relax. As soon as we got back into the regular interview format, he got so nervous he just started spewing buzzwords. Better toss Koshimitsu a question that can make him make a good impression without him getting flustered. Uh, that, that's too formal. He'll get too nervous with it. I, that one, I guess, maybe tell us someone you admire. Because he did talk about his father, and that would be, like, a good deal breaker for... Or something to seal the deal with Marina. Kushimitsu, there's someone you look up to, isn't there? I... Yes, but I already told you about him earlier. Uh... You did, but I want to hear it again. Take your time. Can you do that? Yeah. Yes. So that's why I don't want to be like my father. I want to be a real estate agent who can make both my clients and my family happy. Well said, Koshimitsu. Well, that might be because we were already talking about it earlier. You talked about this while I was away? Uh. Yeah. Koshimitsu-kun is a pretty good guy, isn't he? Looks like Marina's impression on Koshimitsu may have taken a positive turn. That's it for our interview. Thank you for your time. Uh, okay, thank you. Let's move right along to our decision. President Kiryu? 
I have no objections whatsoever. The decision rests with you, Mr. President. Okay. Kushimitsu, you're hired. What? Really? Yes! Yes! Congratulations, and welcome aboard. Here's your cab fare, too. Oh, really? Are you sure that's alright? I mean, you gave me a job, and now even cab fare? Of course. That's what we promised. Now that you're hired, we would like to see you start as soon as possible. Can you start tomorrow? Yes! I'm afraid I don't have any experience to offer, but I will do my best for you. Thank you! We're counting on you. Yes, sir! Do you think Koshimitsu-kun will actually show up tomorrow? I think so. If he had that much trouble with the truth, imagine what he'd be like if he was trying to lie. I hope you're right. Hmm. Oh, Koshimitsu-kun forgot his bag. We'll have to take it to him. Why would we need to do that? He's coming in tomorrow. Oh, for goodness sake. What if this has his wallet or rail pass? He can't be very far. Can you run after him and get it for him? Wait, I'll follow with the bag. Okay, okay. Imagine if he was a world-class actor. Oh, God. If that's the case, I'm going to be sad. Oh, no! Oh, no! The cats are back! Hey, Koshimitsu, where are you? Where did he go? Shit. I still get pissed thinking about that Kiryuga. Oh. Oh. No. Motherfucker, you better not do what I think you're about to do. I'm going to end your life. That's how they get where you're coming from. You shouldn't take it out on a dog. That oh, he is dead. He is dead. But that cry is so sad. Oh, you... <laughs> I imagine Kiryu making those bitchy little noises, isn't that right, dog? It's them. S stop that! Stop! Stop hurting that dog! Koshimitsu? Huh? What's with this guy? He's shaking like a leaf. J shut up! If if you don't stop abusing that dog, I I, I won't let you. Sheesh! This guy's a real piece of work. Ijun, will you make him go away? With pleasure. Let's see how you feel after this. Oh, he is dead. He is dead. You know, Kiryu has never killed a person up to this point. Huh? What's with you? I, I'm not done with you. What's with this creep? He's freaking me out. Let's get out of here. Uh, okay. <laughs> I did it. Y you're safe now. Oh, it's so wholesome. I'm so glad. Ah, stop it. That tickles. You're getting slobber all over my face. President Kiryu, Koshimitsu-kun. See, aren't you glad we hired this guy? Yes. Yes, I am. Koshimi- Oh, God, don't take another step, Kiryu. Welcome to the team. He's like security staff? Really? Not that good, but he's got heart. I'm- I'm still pissed off I couldn't beat his ass, though. I hope I come across him again. I want to... I just want to slam his face into the concrete because, oh, I am so pissed off. I... I'm pissed off. I wanted to beat that idiot up. Yeah, she can come out now. I didn't go on a blind murderous rage. But you know what? I am taking these shoes off.
doesn't stop the nose dude make that noise happen. <sighs> Not any more sweet salvation for my ears. Up, oh, yep, there's our third entry. Hello, Dos Kamiya-san. Hello. I love your show. Regular listener. Thank you. The other day, I became friends with a dominatrix who works at an S&M club. Whoa, this is getting juicy. She said she wasn't good at berating people, so I ended up teaching her how to do that. Really now? Tell me more, Judgment Kazakun. There was a problem, though. I don't know very much about S&M, so it was pretty challenging. I learned a lot, too. Oh, really? And what did you learn? P.S. Does s and interest you, Dos Kamiya-san? Judgment Kazi-kun says he doesn't know very much about s and but he took over the challenge anyway. That's what I call taking the dominant position. But could there really be a dominatrix who's bad at berating people? Please mail me the name of the club where she works and steal that envelope if you don't mind. As for me, I don't care much for S or M. The only thing that wits me up is you! Whoa! Oh, and that's, that was the third time we featured a postcard from Judgment Kazakun. Congratulations. I finally made it. Thanks, Dos Kamiya. As a special reward for celebrating Judgment Kazakun's achievement, I have a little surprise for him. Hmm, a surprise? That was fast. Hey, Marina, someone's at the door. Will you get it, please? I'm in the middle of something here. Hmm? She's not there. <sighs> Fine. Whoever this is has the absolute worst timing. Hello, how's it going? Look, I'm in the middle of something. Come back some other time. Oh, now hold on a second, please. Are you by any chance Kazakun? Is that any way to address someone you've never met? <clears throat> Wait, I know that voice. You're... Indeed I am. I'm your host. Dos Kamiya? As in Dos de Postcards? None other. That's what I meant when I had a surprise for you, Judgment Kazakun. It, it, It's really him. Judgment Kazakun, here's your prize for getting your postcards on the air three times. Congratulations. I got a pair of Hercules gloves. Dos Kamiya-san, um, may I shake your hand? Hi. Of course. Judgment Kazakun, thank you for always writing in. I love those stories of yours. Except for the shrink wrap one. Just, what the hell were you thinking, man? Okay, I should be going. Goodbye, and see you next time. Alright, I got on the air. He's so happy with himself. Happy Kiryu is just so wholesome, I swear. Alright. Opponents have a hard time escaping the wearer's grip. Ooh, that's pretty good. Gives you incredible strength when throwing an opponent. Yeah, I'll put that on. Do I have any better shirts? 998733. Why do I not have this thing on? Alright. I think it's time for us to take a break. And I need to get some water because we have already been two hours in. It oh, it feels like it, we've only gone for an hour to be honest. This game just throws you into a daze often, doesn't it? Yep. Alright. I'm gonna go get some water. Go use the restroom. When we get back, we shall continue with our wild adventures in real estate. And also, probably get CoComs on for tonight. So, I will see you all in just a bit.
All right, I am back. I got some water. I also got the window open for CoCom, so for now, let's get back into the game. All right. Let's see. Yep, we got payouts ready. Ooh. Damn it, Nugget. Man, that was just slightly better. Alright, economy's actually gone up. First things first, let's go and get some investments in. That pachinko is almost ready to be S rank. Kushimitsu, Gusan since new employees should get it a few over the street, so I'm starting as security staff. Uh, that's already zero across the board, so it's nothing really too bad. It's going to be bad on the second day. So I'll hold off on it. Those two definitely need to be swapped out, though. Mew, mew, motherfucker. God damn it. How's it going, you two? Good. Doing all right. I, I'm really angry that we could not beat up that guy who beat up the dog at the end of <laughs> that story. That right. That's so just... Why couldn't you let me just curb stomp him into the ground just once? You saw me in chat. You saw... I was wanting it. <laughs> oh, I was too. The second I saw them, her daughter was just like, okay, you just signed your death warrant. I don't care if Kyu's never never killed anybody. He could, You can always do something once in your life. There's always a starting point. Exactly. And the fact they had to have run right past him to get out of there. Exactly! Is there, oh, I haven't been investing in this. I am very happy of how my uh, Discord server logo came out. It looks really nice, although I kind of preferred the one I sent you. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a good placeholder. <laughs> For anyone who's wondering, uh, Dragon's Discord, uh, I think I still have it. I can pop it up in chat. His mm -hmm. Discord was named Dreamland, so me being the smartass that I am, I can't find it now. What the hell? Oh, write it because it's on my phone. <laughs> Here, I think I can do this. Just so I don't have to keep... I don't have to re-download everything. Uh, I decided to use this as what should have been his... Oops. Get rid of that. It was this. I said it was going to be a placeholder. I say it's a far superior one. <laughs> Alright. You might you might as well show the official one I went with. I I guess. Hold on. Let me see if I can find a good like thing for it. I should have a post that in art. Or I, I just put it there. Yeah, it looks really nice. I do not have a post in or I will fix that so it's actually there. <laughs> Alright. So, while we got some time to kill, we might as well... Uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll do once around in the electronics section to see if there's anything else we can buy up. If not, I'm gonna just invest into Brawler so we can continue the side story with that. Hmm. So, what happened to the old man... Which old man? We have run into a lot of old men on our adventure here. The one who keeps wanting to train cure you. Uh, he's in the back alley that, uh, he still trains you. We just need to upgrade our brawler style some more. Oh, so it was like, in, so his in-story cutscenes are pretty much done with. Yeah. He just basically introduced us to all our fighting styles. Same way Majima's one did. Ah, uh, okay. There they are. 
I still want to see you use that bowling pin. So would I. Unfortunately, the bowling pin is not available for me to use. Sucks. Maybe in the next game. If there is a bowling pin in the next game. Well, to be fair, there there are so many Yakuza games, maybe they did make the bowling pin available at some point. How many Yakuza games are there? Uh, let's see. Well, there's Yakuza, Kwame, Kwame 2, Yakuza 3, Yakuza 4, Yakuza 5, Yakuza 6, Yakuza 7 Like a Dragon, and Yakuza Dead Souls, which is an, a spin-off game, which is also non-canon. And I think it was Yakuza Judgment? Hmm... And then there's also Yakuza that takes place in the Edo period. Mm. That is Japan exclusive at the moment, though. But who knows? We we got all the the entire Yakuza series ported over. Uh, who knows? Maybe the the Edo period ones are also going to be imported at some point. If not, I could probably pull some tr strings and uh, find some copies of those. I won't be able to understand that. Dial up word. sound, I missed you. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait, nope. What is this place? Oh, this is Mahjong. Nope. But you were so good at that last time. I know I was so good, but it's also going to take forever for me to go through a Mahjong thing. If ever I play Mahjong again in this game, it's probably going to be its own night. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to find myself a a million yen machine, but I have not come across one of those. And for Majima, I have come across it like five times. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wasn't the prize from the radio show supposed to be a million yen? It was something worth a, mil uh, a million. Uh, okay. Yeah. So if you actually try to sell it into a store, it will be worth a million yen. Mm -hmm. No, it, it was gear. You can't sell gear. Ow. He's got a taser! Which means you're stuck with the cat shoes forever. Nope. I took the cat shoes off. You can never get rid of them. They're just there waiting. I, I just don't never have to wear them anymore unless someone bribes me to. But who would be insane enough to do that? Do not um, tempt me. <laughs> do, don't, don't tempt him. He'll do it. Oh, he's got the taser. Oh! Oh! Holy shit, Kiryu! <laughs> Get out of here! Another run of cats, good sir. Oh, jeez. You're a bad influence, you know that? <laughs> Alright, for one Dante, you get ten minutes of cats. Yes! Oh, boy. And for one Alucard, you'll get a half an hour. <laughs> Alright, let me, let me set a timer for this thing. <laughs> Alright, timer will start as soon as I put the cats on. I mean, hey, you get more money from wearing them, so if you get into any fights. Yeah, yeah, it's not that I get more money, it's that I get into fights more often that gives me money. <laughs> Although, it basically goes to my therapy sessions because I'm going to be going insane from these damn cats. What Dude, the... I that, it's not even that bad. What the hell is this? No, oh. but this is. Uh, there's like an icon I've never seen over here by the temple. <laughs> hmm. I hope it's the guy that would beat up the dog because I still want to kick his ass. What? I'm losing my edge. I want to fight someone buff. What the? Those fuck? delinquents are causing problems in the area. Should I deal with them now? They'll probably put up a good fight. Curious just looking for a fight at this point. Oh, no. They said the Electronic King hired, like, uh, people to, like, uh, join his crew. So these are people who are part of his crew. And take him out. 
Yo, dude, check this geek out. You're that Kiryu guy from Yamanote's uh, place, right? Yeah. I heard there were some guys causing trouble around here. I need you to stop. That's funny. I don't recall you being the guy giving orders in the Electronics King's domain. Get in line. Kiryu's cutting it. What was that? Uh, get, get a bike? Okay. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Give me the bike. Oh, uh, dude, I can't really hear it, but dude, the cat sounds go in the fight. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Give me my bike. Imagine Kiryu pedaling on a bike and every pedal is just a Mew. Okay. The worst part about the, the cat thing, it carries up over into... What? I, did, I just stabbed some guy with a mysterious syringe. He now has a, a very bad disease for all of eternity now. But, but as I was saying, the, the Mews carry over into cutscenes. Well, they're real time, so it's expected. <laughs> Still, there's a serious moment. The Our new friend got beat up. Okay, Mew. Mew, Mew, Mew. <laughs> Th this does not compute. You saw the problem with the electronics keen area? The payout gauge for the area is operational again. Nice. I was able to solve the problem. Now all I have to do is wait for the profits to start loading back up. Oh, so they will halt your progress in here until you go beat them up. Ugh, the cats. The cats. <laughs> I can't escape the cats. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Wait. No, it's him! <gasps> you should try today. You, what are you no. doing here? No. No. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, buddy. I can't. Not what's tonight. It? I what's can't. It? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm shopping. I'm trying to get myself some Viagra. I'm trying to decide which energy drink I should get. Oh, even a guy like you needs energy. Yeah. Oh, no, not at all. I never need a pick-me-up, but when a bottle says it delivers Wonder Down Under, how could anyone resist the urge to try? Is oh, he looking at? Is, is he, he looking at Aha Water? Uh, I hope. I hope he's look looking at Aha Water. Okay. Anyway, are you getting any lately? That's not what I'm <coughs> here for. Not everyone's like you. You kidding? Then what are you doing in Camarocho, the land of sexy ladies? Is it? Duh. At, at least, at least, curious, Mister Libido is a bit more like down to earth. Yeah, and he's, is dressed. Yeah, he he's still wearing clothes and pants, mostly the pants. <laughs> oh God, yes, the pants. Keep them on. I <laughs> uh, see this really timid girl on Sayaro Avenue North. A girl that pretty is a beacon for creeps like me. Well, at least he's also self-aware. I hope there's. <laughs> I hope there's. Wow. A... Oh, that that's all the red flags right there. I hope there's a cop nearby. Um, maybe I'll look for her if I feel like it. What I wouldn't give to get my hands on a video of a girl like her. I keep it under lock and key and treasure it forever and ever and ever. Oh, you were saying, Dragon, about him being less creepy. I, okay, the libido for Majibu isn't really creepy, just more weird. This guy's creepy. This guy cries out. I'm going to uh, find you an alleyway. Cure, cure, you better find that girl and give her a whistle. <laughs> no, give her a taser. Here. Get, no, oh. no. No, I'll, I'll give her the Marlin cannon. <laughs> Where was my... There it is, business. Alright. That... Alright, so the every, everything up to the temple is the Electronics King. Everything past that is pleasure. I see Manager Nuggies is doing well. Ah, uh, yes. Stunks! So I'm surprised you didn't get mad at me for saying nuggies. I, I'm past it. I'm still mad about not being able to beat up that guy who hurt the dog. He's also mad because he's got cats on right. his feet. Pleasure King area is in trouble <laughs> right now. Collecting payout over there. Payout is ready for the leisure. Properties acquired. There's 50 properties in the game to acquire, and we only have 15. We are still missing six advisors, six security, and five managers. <laughs> Oh, God. And one cat too many. <laughs> weeks, weeks, week. Meow, meow, meow. I was about to say, I, I have cat shoes, not my shoes. TBG's gonna look at his cats and go, Oh, God, please do not act up. 
Uh-oh. Crunchy. Crunchy. I, yeah, it's, it's getting a little, uh, yeah, little bit of a crunch. It, yeah, hold on. It should fix itself soon. Oh, God. Why is it super crunchy? There we go. I don't know Betty why it gets super crunchy. Betty Fist now. Dude, I don't know what's going on with my stream. Too. Like, first, my computer was just dying on me. It wouldn't load anything. And then I uh, dropped a little over 2,000 frames tonight. Eesh. Oof. Still crunch. That should be fixed. Yeah, it's it's fixed on my end. Mm. I hope I got a happy meal. Here you chowing down. Well, yeah, when's the last time we've seen this guy eat? Uh. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> Give me that happy meal. Um, 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 um. Okay, it's getting a small bit crunchy for me again. Uh, yeah. But since the evening out. I seriously have no idea why there, why it gets crunchy at times. It's probably something on Twitch's end. That could be it. Yeah, maybe. All right, I'm gonna say that. Hold on, let me look at business again. Kiri tapping his foot. Mew, mew, mew. All right, so we're still missing a. What looks like a Photoshop. Uh, Pachinko seven seven seven. I think I remember where that was. I just couldn't afford it. Tempo sushi. Beijing Chinese Eatery, Amusement Game U, and... Oh, the Sega Store. Oh, dear God. Imagine him playing Dance Dance Revolution in those shoes. <laughs> uh, uh, so you're saying go to the disco. <gasps> we have to test that. God. The things we do for science. <laughs> See, even TPG kind of likes it in a sadistic way. <laughs> well, I am masochistic at times. Mm-hmm. I thought that I thought that girl was Marina for a second. It, it's basically she just follows Kiryu all over the place. She likes Kiryu, especially when he's wearing glasses. Yeah, it, <gasps> basically that interview was just a, an excuse for her to. Uh, see him in glasses. Axolotl of a top hat mustache! I see. I see. We already got one of those as Majima, but we have to get one as Kiryu. But I got a bunch in. I'm still waiting for my axolotls in Minecraft. He's got a tiny green hat on. <laughs> These things are the absolute definition of a borb. <laughs> It's they a bird and an orb. They are adorbs. Borb to our adorbs? Hmm? Are they borb to our adorbs? Yep. I think I might have gone too short with this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. He was gone by his little hairs. Alright, this one this one should do it, so long as I don't get caught on the the prize dropper area. Nope. The shoot? The shoot. <laughs> oh. That is the sound that the shoes have come to an end. <laughs> also we got him. This one's for you, Dragon. Marina, <laughs> Marina Page is cure you. So what are you doing? Cure you. Business. God, get these things off my feet. <laughs> I hate that evil laugh. See, I, ha I have <laughs> the sounds turned down, so it sounds like squeaks to me, not cats. All right, uh, You're going to be hearing the evil laugh more tomorrow, TBG. Oh, boy. Let's see. Cafe Alps. Sushi. Don Quixote. What's that? Oh, that's a Mahjong place. That's the shrine. 
Smile Burger, Fuji Soba. I've never had sushi, but I'm unsure if I'll like it because I'm very picky when it comes to seafood. I don't care for sushi. No, but I'm in the wrong area. I'm in good business. So what was it? Um, uh, let's see. Camera, Pachinko, Tempo Sushi. Okay, so Tempo Sushi has to be that place. Uh, Chinese Eatery, Amusement Game U. House, Sega, Namikichi Street. Like a high tech. I land prefer to machine. eat my fish. Cooked. Yeah, this would be the place I'd invest in, but I don't see where I'm supposed to go to invest into it. Like I'm guessing, maybe Carl there's like a side Tiernan. story. Burger. Soba. Ah, there it is. Tempo Sushi. Karma was just staring at me from my bed. I roll over and her tail immediately starts wagging. <laughs> <laughs> Would you start to think about food right... Oh, this is the dine-in, dine-out dine -out place. Bas uh, Chinese eatery. Got that. Uh-oh, someone's cracking. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably Moon. Ow. Hello. Hey. Hi. You sound better now. All right. So we found two two of the three places. I think this is yeah, this is the Bachinka place, but we don't have the money for it right now. So let's go get our collections. Demon <laughs> dragon. <laughs> All right, there's something going on in the pleasure cane area that we need to go deal with. I can't tonight. I fucking can't. <laughs> no. <laughs> I hurt too much. <laughs> Why are you hurting? Um. Yeah, just stop hurting, all right? Oh, wait. Thanks. She's gonna hurt you. Yeah, she probably will. I'm not oh, hurting hi, because of last night, so... Yeah, I'm sorry, Moon. I, I forgot. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not talking much, because, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, just sit back and enjoy the weirdness of a chicken being a good economy manager. <laughs> good nugget. <laughs> yes, Marty, do you need anything? Is this why you came over here, or do you just want petted? I see that smirk, Marley. <laughs> That's it for these places. Now let's start collecting. Alright. And back out into the world we go. Glide down, Marley. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Ow, ow. <laughs> you okay? Mm hmm. <sighs> so many people want their ass kicked tonight, don't they? <sighs> Kimurocho does not seem like a very like good place to live in. <laughs> you think? Mm -hmm. Did you just pile drive one guy into another? Yes, I did. You beat one motherfucker into another motherfucker. To be fair, that's basically what this fighting style is. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh, diamond. Ooh, that is worth a lot. That's like a hundred million right there. All right, Pachinko Place, you are mine. Just barely was able to afford it. I love that Kiryu just oozes manliness, that he can just show the money to the building itself and it submits to his whims. <laughs> Alright, that's the cafe. That's something we can't invest in. Alright, so Amusement Game U and Sega. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Dragon. Well, I mean, it does ooze money. The only Sega place I've seen over here, though, is the one that we go into. I don't know where another Sega place would be. In Shotenbori. Well, unfortunately, we can't take a trip to Shotenbori yet. What is that in the vending machine? Come on, go back there. Which vending machine? I walked past like uh, 50. Th there is a yellow one back there. It had a girl on it. That's not a vending machine. That's just a advertisement for a cabaret. It looked like a vending machine. Well, yes, I would like to vend one cabaret girl. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, well, I might as well go down this way to see if... God, if that were a thing, you see libido there all night long. I have a stake in this place. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. You would not believe how much I have invested into it. It would make even you blush, Kiryu. <laughs> it's just not the same without Tama doing the voice. No, she no, does I, think it so doing good. A, I think you're doing a pretty damn good job at it. I don't know he is, he is. I don't know what you're talking about, Moon. Ow. <laughs> I like to find your things in life. <laughs> yes, you must always look on the bright side of life, Moon. <laughs> and enjoy the finer things. I can already feel the death glare at me. <laughs> she left. Uh, oh? Moon? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And she's back. There she is. <laughs> did, did you just pull a me? Did you steal my shtick? Yes, I fucking did. How dare you. What are you gonna do? Hmm? I'm I'll put the <laughs> shoes back <laughs> on. Hey, Barney. Like the cat shoes bug me. They bother you. Only him. I think they're funny. I think they're infuriating. And we still. <laughs> and we still have to test them at the disco. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna do one more pass and then we'll head up to the disco. For what CBG doesn't want to go. Eh, who knows? Maybe I'll pass by the. The Sega place there. Unless there's something in there I have to do. Or maybe I have to progress more into the... The story over here. Actually, wait. Hold on. I think. Mm -hmm. I think. Let me go back here real quick. We have never actually explored back here a whole lot. So there has to be... Maybe something we can invest in. You think in. you can? You think you can? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Get these kids' asses. All right, hold on. I, I need to get my bike. Again, he radiates that fuck shit energy, so why do they mess with him? Because there's probably... Why not? Because it, they think that they can take him because there's a half dozen of him and only one Kiryu. However, one <laughs> Kiryu is ten Kiryu too many! One Kiryu is equal to twenty men. Mm-hmm. What, what does one Majima equal? 30. <laughs> and this is a thousand troops down the drain. <laughs> no way! 
<laughs> Make that 2,000. Ah! Let's make that an even 3,000. I swear both of you. <laughs> like I said, you two are bad influences. We're the best. Yep, there's nothing to invest in back here. Alright. I guess if that's the case. Ah, oh, great. Sorry. Alright. Ah, uh, crap. I'll wait. I guess we're going this way. I see you. <laughs> wait, Amusement Games U. Is that the thing I was thinking of? That amusement Game U. This place is crawling with game gamers, especially arcade fighting game fans. What should I do? How much is this? Ooh, we can afford it. Aren't arcade fighting games, like, extremely popular in Japan? Yes. Oh, yes. Like, Very like, popular. Yeah, like, there, there are so many, like, fighting game variants that it, it's insane. Like, King of Fighters, Street Fighter, uh, let's see. Dark is Mortal Kombat popular there? Uh, probably. Probably, but I think Mortal Kombat's a little bit more Western. So it's a bit more popular. I still need to get Mortal Kombat 11. I'm curious about something. All right, well, if, you well, like the... if you see a Sega place down here, let me know. But for now, we're going to head over to the disco. The, the thing I uh, I am waiting for in terms of Mortal Kombat 11, I'm just waiting for the complete edition to get released. Mm. Oh, my God. It actually is open. What is <gasps> What? It's a place called Round One, and it's a it's pretty much a Dave and Buster's Ooh. kind of place. There's <laughs> there's bowling, there's karaoke. Oh, so it's basically Yakuza the building, is what you're saying. Mm. It's got video games. <laughs> Does it it's have disco? Everything. No. It does have darts and ping pong. That which is also in this, but the darts are. It has food. <laughs> All right. It has begun. Let, let's do this. <laughs> I am actually going to need quiet, quiet because I need to focus on this because this is legitimately not an easy thing to do. And we it. need to hear the cats. God, I swear, if I God. every dance step I make is gonna be cats, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> oh, thank God. I don't know if I could handle cats me mewing while I dance to disco. This was a challenge, TBG. No. I'm sad now. <laughs> That's cool. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I can't do anything. I'm stuck in my house. How's your dad feeling? Damn it. Almost got it. He's uh, He's doing better. Keep an eye on him. That's all you can do. Oh, uh, most definitely considering uh, he doesn't take this virus too seriously. Because <laughs> you know what I'm doing last night? Mm. He went to the bathroom. One, didn't flush. Ew. And two, he didn't even wash his hands. Ew. Yeah. That's just straight up bad manners. Mm. That's not courtesy. That's disgusting. <laughs> ah, damn it. I only lost because I was wearing the cat shoes. They threw me off. Meow.
And why are you staring at me? <laughs> Alright. One more dance and then we'll head back to the to uh, the office. This guy oozes I'm a jackass with these fucking sunglasses and this purple vest. And his red pants. The purple vest that's bugging me. <laughs> he he looks like a Austin Powers villain that's in the disco. He also has a ponytail. Only Majima is allowed to look good in a ponytail. You gotta schmove. <laughs> God, I'm getting too greedy. You gotta schmove or you lose. <laughs> God damn it. Finger slipped. Hit the wrong button. Your little ghost is so pissed off. <laughs> well, he's wearing the cat shoes. I bet he is. <laughs> that was just horrible. <sighs> Almost embarrassing. <laughs> Okay, so here's a little fun fact. Fun fact about my dog Karma, she mm. uh, she snorts. That's cute. Yeah, it's nothing like detrimental to her, but she has a small bit of a breathing issue. Like she breathes fine. It's just like it just causes her to snort from time to time. Mm. And also to snore very loudly. <laughs> put Harley next to hit my dad and him. Oh, man. They'd be sawing logs. <laughs> Big ones. We hear saying, Karma, until like a few days ago, she never really jumped up in my bed. But she's been doing it easier and easier, which is good. That's good to hear. Oh, that's good. Like, I woke up at uh, 1.30 today, and my dad had me go downstairs to watch Rowdy for a bit while he took a nap. I come back up to my room, and Karma's on my bed. She was not there when I woke up. <laughs> She's like, ha! <laughs> she, she had her head down, she was looking up, up at me, and she was like, hi! And her tail started wagging. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell She's is this She's definitely place? jealous. No, that's Marley. Karma just wants nothing to do with Rowdy. Mm. I'm guessing Rowdy's too rowdy for them? <laughs> Actually, yes. Like, Marley can handle it better than Karma, but, like, when Marley goes downstairs, Rowdy immediately just guns for her and does not leave her alone. <laughs> She's like, nope. Leave me the fuck alone, bitch. <laughs> Do you know what Rowdy does? What? Mm. He he starts uh, trying to jump on her and starts biting at her. Uh-oh, we've been mm. challenged. Y yes, what? The arcade? Yes. What's the matter? Who is it? I don't know. I asked, but he didn't answer. He just said, tell Kiryu to come to the arcade in Namakichi Street. What for? The area is the Electronic King's territory, so it could be one of his men. And he said something like, he understands the consequences if he doesn't come, right? What do we do? I'm so worried. 
Calm down. I won't let anything happen to you. I'll protect you, no matter what. No. Oh, he knows just the right things to say. The Electronics King wants to see me. I should go to the arcade in Namikichi and beat him at his own game. All right, which arcade game do you think we're going to be playing? Uh, The one that makes Rez motion sick. Uh, Shit, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was Space Harrier? No, nah, I, th I think it was the driving one. No, I think you were right, it was Space Harrier. Also, hi, Miss Marley again, jealous for me petting Karma. <laughs> yes. Alright, uh, I guess... I see your doofy grin. That's 100 million. Put your guard up again, right after the enemy breaks through it. Has ability only used on the second heap or regard. Go lie down, Marley. Marley, go lie down. This is the only 30 million, so I might as well. Okay, what? She didn't move anywhere, she just laid down where she was sitting, which is right next to my chair. Hmm. I can't exactly scoot back up to get close to my mic now. <laughs> uh oh, looks like Marley. we got a fighter on our hands. Marley, I need you to move, please. Thanks for dropping by, Kiryu san. Who the hell are you? You work for the Electronics King? Hey, you're smarter than I thought. Guess that's why you're an up and coming businessman. I don't have time to waste on cannon fodder like you. The electronics cane is inside, right? Let me through. Whoa, whoa, not so fast, newbie. Let me guess. If I want to go in, I need to get through you guys first. You sure are smart. I bet you think you're hot stuff since you took down the leisure cane, huh? Well, we're going to hack and slash your ass. Was that a hacking joke? <laughs> no, it's probably since we're outside of an arcade, it was probably a video game joke. <laughs> Moon. No. It's too powerful already. <laughs> oh, God. No. No. <laughs> Stop the power. <laughs> Yay! All trees shall fall before him. Oh, okay, wait. here's a question. Wait, hold on. I know what I need to do. <laughs> Isaac, what, how, what kind of item did you get? <laughs> Unlimited power. <laughs> Come over here. Come on, come on. That's not what alright, fine. Smash your head into the bumper. <laughs> I want I want to slam the door in your head. <coughs> Bless you. I'm okay, thank you. But uh, I was gonna I was gonna ask. Favorite uh type of tree and to use in Minecraft. Mm hmm? What? Like your favorite tree type, like like, like the forest color and all that. That standard I guess? Uh, I have not played um, Minecraft in such a while. I don't remember the the crafts. <laughs> it's giving off such a uh, high res. So, chat, what's your favorite kind of tree? <laughs> Are you the electronics king? I mean, I already met you earlier when we beat your friend, but okay, whatever. Wait a minute. Hey, are you listening to me? Didn't anyone teach you manners? Like, don't bother someone when they're playing a game. Uh? Don't give me that. You're the one who called me here in the first place. What do you want? It's Mayor's the Pause game. Oh, you're right. I, no need to get snippy. I only asked you to come here because I wanted to thank you. Thank me? Yes. I would like to thank you for trying to capture my domain. The real world is full of poor, foolish souls, so capturing this area in Kamurocha was easy mode, but because of that, I've been pretty bored lately. God, his pants are so high. But now that you're here, my life is fun again, so thanks. <laughs> huh. 
Never expected to be thanked. I'm think I'm taking over your area, you know. Aren't you angry? Can't say that I am, actually. This is just a game for me. I do it for fun. Besides, I'll end up on top in the end. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Why wouldn't I be sure? You've heard, right? I'm a genius with an IQ of 190, and I'm Camarocho's best gamer. There's no way you beat me at video games. You might think this some kind of game, but it's not. Thanks to you. Thanks to you turning Camarocho into some kind of playground for you. Uh, to make money, there are a lot of real people who've been hurt. Haven't you thought about that? <laughs> now, why would I do that? Have you ever thought about the feelings of the pixels you murder in video games? Heh, <laughs> of course you haven't. Hmm, <laughs> you're rotten to the core, too. Now, now, at any rate, I'm looking forward to playing with you. Can you at least put up a good fight so I can have something to enjoy? Don't worry, I'll make sure to keep you on your toes. Oh, hang on a second. You came all the way over here, so do you want to play a quick quick round with me? Nani. What? I heard you had a karaoke battle with a Leisure King, so why not a battle with me? A video game battle, of course. A video game battle? Yes. Why don't we play OutRun? I'm not too good at racing games, so that should put us on, e on a level playing field. If you can get a higher score than me, you win. If not, you lose. What do you think? Does that sound balanced? Are we going to put our holdings on the line like I did with the Leisure King? Heh, <laughs> <laughs> of course. A game's no fun unless something's at stake. You accept my challenge, this right? This nerd's about to see the game over screen. God, that sounds so bad. I w I'm surprised I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, for, thanks for boosting my confidence there. <laughs> well, it's not like I'm going to take no for an answer. Sure, let's do it. That's the spirit. All right, I'll start. Phew, only five million points, huh? I made it too many mistakes. Guess I really do suck at racing games. Okay, you're up next. I'll even let you win if you can match my score. Fine. Beat it. Get a higher score and outrun. If you score five million points or higher, you win, and your share of the electronics game area will increase by ten percent. If you lose, it goes down by ten. Drive like the wind to increase your share in the area. The score you Check get... memes when you can. Oh, great. Hold on. Oh god, I don't remember the controls for this. I think the the last time I played this was the the first stream we did of this game. <coughs> All right, A A for break, X for change gears, accelerate. Why is B accelerate? What? What Steer the fuck is going on in these? It's her credit. <coughs> All right. Cheese. <laughs> but some of those just don't look right. Sorry. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Wait a f fucking minute. Wasn't this an actual game in arcade yes. at one point? Yes, these yeah. are all actual uh, Sega arcade games. Wow. Plays, you're actually pretty good at it. There we go. That's better. I I hated that scan line one. And you beat him. Wow. I I I honestly thought I was I wasn't gonna win this one. Maybe it's a good thing we didn't pick Space Harrier. Uh oh. I remember you playing this last time. You're actually pretty. So. And back in the day, we thought this was pretty fucking amazing graphic. I mean, to be fair, the, the background is actually pretty good. Yeah. 
Uh, I was born in 2001, so uh, I grew up with stuff like the PlayStation 2 and Xbox. Mm, 90 for me. Oh god, I can even say I grew up with the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Alright, well, we just decimated his score. Wait. Decimated? No. You pulverized it. No, wait. He said 5 million, right? Yeah. Yes, he said 5 mil. Did we Did we pass 5 mil? I thought it was like 5,000. Yes. Okay. Uh, you got 10 million. Nope, we lost. What? Mm -hmm. I had 5,000. No, because I didn't get 5 million. I got 5,000. <laughs> I thought that was 5 million. Nope. You lost Outrun Battle. You shared the electronics can is decreased by 10%. Well, that was a lot of fun. Games are a lot more exciting when you have a high level challenger to play against. Okay, we're done here. I have a lot of free time to hang out with you. See you later. I don't have a lot of free time to hang out with you, so see, see you later. Oh, just one more thing. What is it? You're probably going to die, you know. Yeah? And who's going to kill me? Who knows? Let's just say not everyone welcomes your efforts like I do. I'm glad you're trying hard, but you really shouldn't take the five billionaires too lightly. That's fine by me. Kira's just got this I don't give a fuck if I fucking die attitude. TBG, you have a you have a PS2 you're able to record, right? Yes. I think I have a challenge one for you, you can do with a game. Uh oh. Oh dear. Play play and beat a game with the PS2 TV remote. No, God, I, I don't even know where I would even begin to look for that. <laughs> this is all just a game to eBay run. thrift stores? Mm. But he's still a tough customer. I should, I should watch out. All right, let's head on back to the shop or to the office. Actually, right here. Might as well see if I can do any more training. God, they really want you to invest into a lot of in Brawler if you want to get that final uh, lesson from him. No! Nugget, be financial savvy! <laughs> Nugget is a good manager. This man lost to a chicken, and he calls himself smart. Yeah, you may have an IQ of 190, but you still lost to a chicken. The chicken is life. <laughs> uh, nugget's gonna. I gotta swap Nugget out. Yeah, we'll put her back on there. Let's see. Uh, so, on duty, pleasure in electronics. Because now, wait, we need to invest. Sachiko. <laughs> Ooh, almost there. Mm. Nope, nope, not you.
I really need to get a better food person. <laughs> Alright, that is it for here. Time to collect. Yeah, I might as well go to the Pleasure Cane area, see what the hell I'm supposed to be doing over there, because the collection over there has stopped. Alright, uh, let's see. It is all the way over there. It seems like these, uh, the guys in the gold suits, anytime I fight them, a good Samaritan's always gonna help me. The guys in the gold suits kind of like... I don't know. Can't think of a word. <laughs> Ask for it. Because he yeah, was goading kinda. me into a fight. I swear those are just like undercover officers seeing their opportunity. <laughs> Maybe. I honestly don't know. It, it That's never happened past times I fought him. But then again, I didn't really fight them a whole lot as Kiryu. I think I unlocked them with Majima. So what's the deal with those guys? Uh, They have a lot of money on them. So they're Mr. Shakedown Light. Yeah, basically. They're, they're the easy mode of Shakedown because at least you also got someone to fight alongside you. And you don't lose your money. Yeah. Deal in old artwork and, artwork and antiques. How much is this? Yeah, we can buy it. Make a little bit more money. Mm. We've got to have more money. Oh my god, Tom and Jerry the movie. Who against <laughs> cousin problems in the area are here or should deal with them. Well, screw me sideways. You're that Kiryu guy that Yamanoi's in Yamanoi's house, right? <laughs> yeah, I heard you were there were some guys. Excuse me? You heard him. <laughs> I heard Did he stutter? You got balls, but this isn't your ballroom. This is the <clears throat> Pleasure King's gig. You ain't the queen here. What is this fighting pose this guy has? Which one? Yes. <laughs> the praying mantis one? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Swing him around! Ring around the rosy. Pockets full of posies. <laughs> Round and round he go. Nope. Super. Uh, just drop him. Oh, ow. God damn. There we go. It, it, it does make you question how are these men not dead? <laughs> Easy, because Kiryu never kills anybody. I guess Kiryu that. must be holding back or something. Water off a duck's back, right? It will solve the problem. Now she'll be able to do is get the money. What'd you say, dragon? Sorry. Oh, wait. I I said Kiryu's probably holding back. Probably. I got a card. Did somebody say card? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, God. No. I finally found that energy drink and also the Viagra. Oh god. R really? A fortune teller who's never wrong? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really? They say she can actually see the future. That's why she's, like, totally accurate. You're serious? Like, if that's true, I wouldn't mind getting a reading. So, where is this fortune teller? They say she moves around, but I heard she was last seen in the Champion District. Apparently, she charges a million yen for a reading, though. 
How much? A million? I don't have that kind of money. Like, get real. That just makes it sound totally bogus. For sure. But there must be people willing to pay for the pay the price. I heard that to find her, you have to look for her weird glowing crystal ball. Wow. I can't believe people would actually pay that. Maybe I'll just snoop around the champion district a bit. Fortune teller with a crystal ball who's never wrong, huh? Sounds strange, but it's none of my concern. TBG, this is just your chat now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there she is. You there, hold on. Me? Yeah, the hate will flow through you great. <laughs> fortune telling, huh? I really don't care. Sorry, fortune telling doesn't interest me. Try someone else. I don't especially care to do your reading. I need some protection for myself. Protection? What do you mean? You don't seem to be in any danger. I will be. <clears throat> oh, trouble's coming. My reading said as much. I'm going to be attacked, and soon. Attacked? Indeed. A customer I read blames me for his woes and means to exact revenge. It's clear as day in my crystal ball. That's ridiculous. Fortune telling isn't real. You would be right, more often than not, but I'm a fortune teller who can see the future. I'm never wrong. <laughs> fortune teller is never wrong. Didn't I hear rumors about this woman? Like, one second ago. So this is the fortune teller. Come now, look alive. My assailant is on his way. Don't worry, you'll be rewarded for protecting me. You lying hag! I found you at last! See? Right on time. <laughs> Guess you were right. I paid a million yen, and all you spouted was crazy bullshit that never happened. My girl lapped up your bullshit like it was gospel truth. She dumped me because of you. All I did was tell her what I saw. You, homeless and scrounging in the trash for half-eaten food. Are you nuts? I've been buying up buildings like crazy. No way the money's gonna run dry. Pick through garbage? Me? No one gets away from throwing dirt in my face. I'll teach you a lesson you won't forget. This is where you come in. You said there was a reward? Indeed, of course. Hey, cool it. You're trying to beat up an old woman? No wonder your girl left you. Who the hell are you? Her bodyguard? I'll just have to beat your ass first. This I mean, guy looks like... Re remember uh, the guy who, who sends agent notes for you for Majima? Yeah. He looks like the guy who tried to attack him when you first met him, except in a different suit. <laughs> well, he's dead now. I punched him across... <laughs> I punched him in the, into the next area code. Damn it. Get lost. Thanks for that. I didn't expect you to be able to predict that. Didn't I tell you? I'm a fortune teller who can see the future. Now, do you believe? Ooh. No. I don't believe that in that sort of thing. Such a close-minded man, but no matter. I'll read your fortune as my thanks for saving me. Read my fortune? Indeed. I would usually set you back a million yen, but for just this once, I'll forego my fee. You should be grateful. Fortune telling is bogus, but it could be interesting. She's offering, so maybe I'll give it a try. Sure, why not? Sounds interesting. I'll give your fortune tr telling a try. It'll be fun reading your fortune, I can tell already. Come, let's begin. First, your hands. Let me see. What? You're not using your crystal ball? Shush! Hurry! While the stars are aligned. Uh, okay. Let's see now. Hmm. 
I thought so. Such lovely hands. The sort of strong hands that I wouldn't be... I, I'd want wrapped around me. Whoa, lady. Does this have anything to do with my fortune? Oh, shush. I was having... A, I have a thing for hands. I'm doing your reading for free, so at least... The least you can do is let me indulge. I don't exactly have time to burn. Money. She wants some hands, Kiryu. <laughs> About to catch these hands. Would you mind getting into That's what she wants. She wants to get handsy. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Just for you, Moon. Fine, fine. So impatient. So tell me, which thread of your fate shall I unravel? What do you want? My future, my family, or my career? Future. All right. Future. You've got so many games in this series that you don't know what to do with. Okay, my future then. What's my future 10 years from now? Hmm, 10 years, you say? Yeah. So? I see it. I see it. Shouldering blame for another sin. Hey, <laughs> hey. A heavy burden to bear. And in the end, the millennium. The millennium? I saw it! But you were behind bars most of the time. So it's unavoidable. You're oddly calm about that. Hm. Doesn't come as a great surprise. By the way, you're locked up for 15 years from now, too. What? Still? That's a pretty long stretch. What did I even do to get that? If I were to spoil all there is to tell, your life would be a drudgery. But I'll grant you a hint in the form of a little quiz. Your closest friend is in peril. You and you alone can take their place and accept their fate as your own. What do you think you will do? I'm the only one who can take the place of a friend in trouble. I would. Make them take responsibility. Try to solve it with money. What do you think? Given it's cure, you probably take the place. Yeah, I'm the only one who can save them. Of course I do whatever it takes, even if it's taking the fall for them. I suppose you would. You wouldn't be able to stop yourself from helping your friend. Does that have something to do with me ending up behind bars? That you will have to find out for yourself. But I'm relieved that you haven't haven't chosen your friend. All of this could be for naught. All for naught? What are you talking about? Didn't you say you didn't believe in fortune-telling? Ugh. A close friend. Could that be Nishki? Well, now. We've dwelled on the matter enough. Alright, uh, what about my family? Did you leave Nishki in a forest? Nah, I think he's back with the clan, because when, uh, Kuze came to beat the ever-living hell out of Kiryu, he saw Nishki in the background. Okay, how about tell me about my family? Very well, let's take a look at your family. I see, I see. Her real father. Ah, to atone for what you have done. Atone for what I have done? Wrestling a viper in Okinawa. Wrestling in Okinawa? I have seen it. When it comes to you and your family, the picture is complicated. Okay, so tell me about it. This, I can tell you, a child is with you. A child? I have a kid with me? Indeed you do. The child trusts you above all others. Is it my kid? Hey, don't clam up! Shush! I told you, it's complicated. You could claim it as your own, and would be justified in doing so. If you said the child was not yours, this too would be correct. Hmm, that is complicated. So, is she making reference to past games? No, th this is the first in the entire series. Can uh, well, canon-wise. Well, Gibble, I mean more so, like, she's making references to things that happen in other games. Pro yes. Possibly. Maybe. It does Only Rez here to confirm that. Does it? A hint, then? I'll grant you a hint from in the form of a short quiz. You have a child, one you love. 
If you had to, what price would you put on that child? Put a price on the kid? All children are priceless. There's no way I could put a price on anyone, kid or otherwise. So very true. A person's value is not measured in money. But... You disappoint me! I disappointed you? Putting a price on people is wrong. Even a fool knows that. So why bother getting so high and mighty about it? So disappointed in you. Uh, sorry. Oh no, there are people who will definitely put a price on someone out there. I I'll mm. put a price on that guy who beat up that dog. <laughs> what, to I've... beat the shit out of him? Yes. No, to bring him to me so I can beat the shit out of him. I'll have you know this. So, you're buy gonna... a bounty hunter. You're going to raise eight kids. A a eight kids? That's a huge family. Is this some kind of joke? What can I say? You will be like a dragon among daddies. <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? You're just messing with me, aren't you? <laughs> I only told you what I saw, you see? To mark my words. My, look how hot under the collar you are. Didn't you say you don't believe in fortune telling? Tch. I'm gonna be raising eight kids? That can't be possible. What's gonna happen to me? You need to have my kind of stamina, Kiryu. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, what about my career? Will I make it big in a real estate business? Your career, is it? It crashes and burns. I see it, I see it. Oh, oh, oh. There was tor turmoil. Uh, is that a city in... Uh, Fukuoka? Fukuoka. Someone running out of a concert. A concert? Ah! I saw you. Driving a car. I was driving. Maybe I'm driving one of those senior officers somewhere. Oh, you're not surprised by that. Then let me ask you. What do you think you will be doing for a living? I'll be working as an aide, a driver, or a prime minister. I think maybe an aide. I don't think Kiryu has it in him to be the prime minister. Never be the most know. badass prime minister. I mean, he probably would be the only one who, who could get stuff done by pile driving his opponents. Since He's I'm in a board meeting. It breaks onto a fight. <laughs> Since I'm driving around a, a senior officer, maybe I get promoted. I can end up being the aide to a family boss. An aide. What? Well, because uh, I was driving a family boss somewhere as his aide, wasn't I? Hmm, true. There was a man with the look of a gang boss in the back. You drove for him, but not as an aide, it seemed. Huh? That doesn't seem right. If I'm not an aide, why am I driving? What I saw in your future is this. A hat you wore low, the word occupied on a lighted display. The word occupied on a car, so it's a taxi. Not a chance. Why would I be driving a taxi? Quit making things up. I know what I saw, no mistake. A splendid driver you were, I might add. So skillful, you even used your turn signal. I don't know what to think anymore. Oh, you don't believe in fortune telling anyways, right? Talk about blowing smoke up someone's ass. There's no way a prophecy this crazy could happen. It's total bull. It has to be. That's a lot to take in. What am I, gonna... what am I going to get myself into? I'm tired, are you? All I can, All I did was tell you what I saw. Don't think ill of me. Doesn't bother me. I don't believe in fortune telling after all. Even if I so did. Is, oh. So is Kiryu uh, doing the real estate stuff now just to get back into his family? No, he, technically he's doing real estate stuff to help Tachibana because he's the one who is keeping Kiryu from getting killed by the Dojima family. And why are the Dojima family after him again? Because he was framed for murdering a guy in the empty lot that they had their sights set on to purchase so they could take over Camarocho. Alright. The main plot is pretty convoluted, but I think it might all come, come into play. 
Like, we already know who the owner of the lot is, and that's why we're going to Sotenbori for her. The pieces of the puzzle, they fall into place. No, no, I suppose not. You can believe or not, that choice is yours, at least. Well, that was an interesting way to kill time. Thanks. Take care. Ah, yes. I'll give you one parting gift. One more vision. Today, a young man will speak to you. Your fate and his will be entangled. Heh, <laughs> blowing smoke again. I told you, I don't believe in fortune telling. Why are you listening? Defying to the end, but perhaps that's what makes you a legend. A legend? Oh, just spouting nonsense. Farewell. Someday you will know how right I was. I see. I'll see about that. See ya. Oh, one more fortune. You will receive a letter in the mail. It'll have a red stamp on it. Fortune telling. Heh. <laughs> what a load of hocus pocus. As much as people want Kiryu to be in Smash Bros. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is that who I think it is? Whoa, yo, pal. Huh? Watch where you're stepping. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's the, the kid I fought as Majima. Guess school trips aren't bad once in a while. So, this is Kamurocho. All this grit and glitter. Uh, grit and glitter. What a town. Yeah, that's the, the guy that was a uh, part of the school who got picked on and was stealing people's pants. Mm -hmm. What was up with that guy? Huh. She said a guy who talks to me would have something to do with my fate. Me and that guy. Not likely. I think we already know who she's talking about there. Yep. Uh, I was trying to say a little bit earlier that uh, as much as people want Kiryu to be in Smash Bros, he, uh, his creator says it probably won't happen because Kiryu doesn't like beating up women. Yeah, I know. But it could be Kiryu gets it but then hands it over to Majima. Hmm. Hmm. Does Majima have any qualms with fighting women? Majima just likes to fight, period. <laughs> okay, fair. Uh, I guess I'm just not cut out for the police officer. That's the cop who always <laughs> doing stop and searches. He seems a bit down since we, our last talk. Oi. Hey, you holding up okay? No, cure you. Actually, I... Uh, um... I'm just... What? You want me to show you what I have on me? But no, no, not right now. I'm thinking about quitting the force. Daddy. What? You're quitting? What you said the other day got me thinking. Been thinking about my old partner. He was killed in the line of duty. I wonder what he'd think if he saw me now. He gave his life to save me, and for what? So I could stand here all day questioning people? I failed him. No, come on. No, it's true. I've done nothing but stop and searches for so long, it's all I know how to do. I'm a disgrace. I've made up my mind. After today, I'm gonna turn in my... No, stop it, please! Mm -hmm. Hmm? What's your problem? I told you I'd give you 30000 so be a good girl and come have some fun with us at the hotel. N no, I'm not interested. Relax, there'll be other girls there. We'll have a party. Yeah. No, but I... How about 35000 then? That should do it, right? Uh? You don't want to piss us off, or we might have to get rough with you. <laughs> well, this, this town is just comprised of nothing but assholes. And cure you. I know! Dick, no, please. Those guys are up to no good. And are curious here to beat them into submission. They're stupid enough to do it right in front of a cop. Huh? Hold it, you two. This is no place for kids to be hanging around. Show me what you're carrying. Uh? What are you doing? Mm. This isn't the time for that. Can you see that woman over there needs help? Are you an idiot? Uh, but all I'm good for is stopping searches. I'm not a tough guy. You're a police officer. It's your job to look out for people. I'm too scared. I don't want any more blood on my hands. I couldn't handle it. 
Not again. So you're just going to turn your back on her? Run and hide every time something bad happens? Well, if your partner could see you now, I bet he'd be pretty disappointed in you. What are you going to do now? Will you seriously turn a blind eye to someone who needs your help? Think about your partner. Think about what your partner would do in this situation. Well, he'd... No, I can't. I don't have it in me. Fine. If you won't help her, I will. Hey, let the girl go. Huh? Where the fuck are you? Mind your own business. Yeah, we're having a nice little chat here. Stay out of this. Sorry. Got a nice little chat with Kiryu. <laughs> I gotta admit, I've never been able to walk past trash without tossing it into the garbage. Uh? Say what? Did you just t call us trash? Better watch your mouth, tough guy. Stick your nose where it don't belong. And it'll get snipped off. What? Wait, that looks like... A knife! If I don't do something, Kiryu could get stabbed. Just like my partner. I can't... I can't let that happen again. How many sad boots has Kiryu taken? Too many. <laughs> Slaps Kiryu. <laughs> yep, this bad boy can hold so many knives you wouldn't believe it. He's a pincushion. <laughs> No, he's like, he's one of those knife blocks you always have in a kitchen. <laughs> Good, you're safe. Are you okay? I was frantic. I just had to do something. The hell? Now little pigs come to squeal on us. You ruined the nice little surprise I had planning. Hey, do you even understand how dangerous it is to use knives like that? Somebody could get killed. Ha! Huh, that's the point! Hey, Hambones. If you don't want to get carved up, best turn tail and march back to your pig pen, huh? My partner. Never back down. Huh? huh? What's this guy rambling about? Now's your chance, miss. Get out of here. Okay. Damn it. Don't let her get away. Not so fast. You're coming back to the station with me. You're dead meat, asshole. Now that's Are you going to fight alongside him? Probably. Cure you. Yes. It's my du duty as a citizen to assist the police in when needed. Don't sweat too much over the details, okay? Much appreciated. Fuck the both of you. Oh, one's got a bat. I want that bat. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Oh, oh God. That was a nice uh, jump kick he had there. Up against the wall. Is he gonna question you how you know how to do all this after the fight? Nah. Probably not. He'll probably be like, hey, thanks for helping me out. Or both. In the ass. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ, Kiryu. Honestly, I thought I was going to step right on his crotch. <laughs> wow, he got the, the final hit in. Oh. Yeah, he's too tough. Run away. Damn it. I wanted to take them back to the station, but they got away. I mean, there was that guy you clobbered behind me. Thanks for the help back there. Thought I was done for when they came at me from behind. It... It was just like that time my old partner got stabbed. When I saw your life was in danger, the adrenaline kicked in. I'm so glad you're alright, Kiryu. Hey, it's not that big of a deal. 
There's something I need to thank you for, too. I take stab wounds all the time. If it wasn't for you, I would have run from the situation like I always do. This time, I stood my ground. But it was only because you gave me the push I needed. You mean to tell me he's run from more than one of these situations? Probably. Oh, no. Then why, why do you think you wanted to, to quit the force? Oh, Lord. Yeah, it feels good to conquer your fears, doesn't it? Yeah, my partner would never have run if he saw someone in trouble. He'd be the first to lend a hand. I'm still a nervous wreck inside, though. I was so terrified, my whole body was shaking. But my partner was looking down at me, laughing at how goofy I looked. Oh, I don't know about that. I think he'd be really proud of you. Huh? Um, excuse me. What's wrong? Are those guys still chasing you? Uh, it's just... Hmm? Thank you for helping me. You were so dashing. But, what? I was! I just wanted to tell you how grateful I am. Oh, and I want you to have this. Oh, a sacrifice stone. Aren't those like a full revive? Uh, it's basically, I don't lose any money if I get taken down. Ah. Nice, she called you dashing. Me, dashing? Well, she was scared out of her wits. It was just you who came to her aid. That pretty much makes you, makes you a knight in shining armor in her book. Kiryu. I've made up my mind. I've decided not to quit the force. I'm going to stick with police work, and I'll give it all I've got. Yeah? Right now, stopping searches are about all I'm good for. I'm not much of a cop, but I'm ready to step up and face everything that I've been running from. Then one day, I'll be a first-rate officer like my partner was. <laughs> eh, that's great. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, and Kiryu? Mind if I do a quick stop and search? <laughs> what? Right now? Yes, it'll be quick. Oh, come on. Where'd you get this fish? Why does it have a gun stick in st stuck inside it? I knew you had something special. I'm at, a, I'm at a clown named Bob. Sp <laughs> special? Yes, that's right. A kind heart. <laughs> oh, it's so cheesy. <laughs> huh? I was He's not wrong, though. Kiryu is a pretty kind soul. Yeah. But your plan was to boost my confidence all along, wasn't it? <laughs> Maybe. But I could see you had something special, too. Huh? Something that made you dig deep when it was count when it counted. Courage. Okay, now you're overdoing it. Well, that makes two of us. Guess that's something else you need to work on. Yes, I will. You Thanks. see, Kiryu, he's, he's like stone on the outside. But once you break it, you get squish on the inside. Ew. <laughs> God damn it, Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I couldn't resist. You're, you're not sorry. Don't lie to our faces. <laughs> no comment. <gasps> Wait a minute. Okay, I just got I just got sub to a gift sub to someone who has amazing emotes. I gotta do something really quick. Oh God, Shakedown okay. is actually back back here. He's only got six million on him. I don't really want to fight him. <laughs> That's pretty it's good. It's Nugget. It's Nugget. <laughs> Arya is a slice speeder, and she has amazing is that, emotes. Is that your friend who uh, is always like uh, playing Sly? No, that's Alice. Oh, that's one of Japan's top uh, single malt whiskeys. It's become such a. But Alice simple. and Ari are are friends. They know each other. Okay. It's become such a status symbol that whiskey aficionados the world over have heard of it. They use carefully selected, perfectly matured malts to get the great smooth flavor. It's highly ra rated worldwide. Oh. <coughs> that was a new one. I never know. I don't know if she had this one last time I was subbed. 
what what even am I looking at? It's uh it's supposed to be Raleigh. Oh oh <laughs> I thought it was like a chimney sweep for a second. <laughs> hmm? I work in real estate. Also ah. got this one of Carmelita. That's adorable. <laughs> Oh god, they got the crab one. She has the crab one too. What? I I was just looking at the other emotes and one's the the stupid crab from the the sub mini game from Sly. <laughs> ah, there's a lot of money in real estate these days, but that doesn't mean it's easy. You must have to make some tough choices. Why why don't you tell me about it? Okay, let's see. So, I open up this briefcase, hold it up to the building itself, and for some reason it submits to my whims. <sighs> I ended up telling you a lot more than I intended. You know a lot about real estate, though, don't you? <laughs> when it comes to owning a business in town, opening up the bar was a bureaucratic nightmare, and staying in business isn't easy either. Oh. I'm getting older and tire more easily. I should start looking for someone younger who could take over the bar. What kind of person are you thinking of? She'd have to have a beauty, so similar, she could be my double. Strong and resourceful, able to deal with trouble, an ex-motorcycle game member would be best. Finding someone to meet yeah. all those requirements must be tough. Thanks for the talk, though. Your advice will come in handy. I'm always happy to help. Let me know if you ever need advice, okay? You don't mind if I bother you with work problems? Of course not. <laughs> Don't forget to come by and see me here, too, okay? Uh. Thanks. I'll keep it in mind. Earth Angel's mama has joined her as a... Oh, she's an advisor. Hell yeah, we finally got a food advisor. And she's also a double circle. Mm. Not shy. I'll get a few more drinks in me. <laughs> this is the standard... Advisor... Give me more. G give me your strongest stuff. It's perfect. You drank all of it. <laughs> it's perfect for those looking to enjoy the McCallion without breaking the bank. It may be the standard of the line, but it's guaranteed to deliver the McCallion taste. You simply have to experience it. It's sweet, full flavored, and uh, bouquet for yourself. I like that it implies Kiryu just downs the whole thing in one gulp. It looks like it's a shot. Uh, I guess. Another one, perhaps? Nah, I'm good. Oh, that's too bad. Well, take care and come again soon. So, what does being drunk do for you in the game? Uh, So, Brawler has some special abil abilities that we can unlock. That the more drunk we get, the more we either, like, we take less damage or we do more damage. Like, we can't really afford anything right now, but let's see. I think it's right here. Uh, no, double finishing blow, kick combo. Hey, there, Drunkard's Secret, Dull Senses. An ability for those who with the fortitude of a heavy drinker, being drunk makes you immune to being stunned or paralysis. Or this, an ability for those with fortitude, boost the power of attacks when drunk based on how much health you have left. But that costs mm. 1 billion yen. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so all the red ones, I think, are the... Uh, no, that's Mastery stuff, Yellow Dragon Spirit. I think there was another one. There it is. Uh, Perry Drinker greatly boosts the power of heat actions when drunk and at max health. And then Mean Drunk, uh, Heat Gauge will raise when you're attacked by enemies. So yeah, uh, getting a few drinks in you is actually worthwhile. Why do you have a sword on you? Uh, because of the men in black. <laughs> they gotta get the alien out somehow. I guess that's true. What is that? Is that a paint can? Let's wake him a paint can. No, that's not a paint can. That's a. Bot bottle of mystery liquid that I think I just poisoned a guy to death with.
Oh god, that sword actually hurts a lot. Holy hell. It's like it's a sword. <laughs> Jesus! Ah, damn it, he broke my bottle. Like you've had enough. Yeah, this work. Maybe. Alright, <laughs> enough of this. I think this is the most oh, God! I've given you trouble. It's just because it's very cramped back here. Jesus! Alright, what do I got to beat this guy with? Sign. This would work. Here, hold this. I just want to visit here real quick, see if there's anything I can do to buy up some spades. Oh god, I just saw something. You know those little uh, arcade games where it tests how strong your punch is? Yes. Mm -hmm. Imagine Cure your mind about doing it. <laughs> it just, he punches it and all of a sudden, instead of numbers, it's just question marks. <laughs> error. Error. Yo, Kasuga, how's it going? Great, guns blazing as always. The job's going well, too. The job, huh? You're a magazine reporter, right? Are you still prying into Camarocha's dark side? Darn tootin'. That said, there's been nothing but trivial tidbits to report lately. Covering small-time stories suck. Better than taking on anything too hot to handle, or are you looking for trouble again? <laughs> I thought I was dead when that gun deal went sour. Thanks again for saving my sorry ass. I got something to ask you, Kiryu. Do you know about a group called the Human... The Human Trafficking Ring? Human Trafficking mm -hmm. Ring? Never heard of it. But judging by the name, it sounds like trouble. No doubt. It's a lead I happen to stumble on. Word on the street is the Human Trafficking Ring's based right here in Camarocho, somewhere around Pink Alley. From what I hear, you can buy people there... For the right price, for the right amount of money, young, old, men, women, whatever you want, in the the nationality of your choice, all for sale. There's yeah. really a place that crazy in Camarocho? I know, it sounds nuts, doesn't it? Yeah, it's hard to believe. But if there really were such a place, and if you were a journalist, Kiryu-kun, what would you do? Whoa, Kasuga, you better not be. Oh, sure, as if I could let a little, let that slide without checking it out. Not as a reporter for the weekly Shinjitsu, I can't. Figures, you never learn, do you? Despite the risks, Kasuga is intent on investigating these alleged slave traders called the Human Trafficking Ring. You know what? I can't really stop him because I can't really, you know... You know he will do it regardless, but I will lend him support. Kasuga, mind if I join you when this inve investi uh, when you investigate those slave traders? Mm -hmm. Huh? You want to come with me? What for? I'm curious about the human trafficking ring, and if you run into trouble, at least I'll be there to save you. Mm. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it, but nah, sorry, I can't accept that offer. Mm. Why not? It's you like will accept it. <laughs> It's like this. I chase what may be dangerous stories because I want to bring the truth to my readers. Just That's just what I'm driven to do as a journalist. If I take a beating or end up killed, it's all on me. My own damn fault. But what happens if I get someone else involved and there's trouble? I couldn't bear the kind of guilt for the rest of my life. So, sorry. I can't let you come with me. If you thought about it that much, I get it. Just be careful when you're investigating out there. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. The iron's hot and it ha needs to be struck. I'll be off investigating around Pink Alley. Uh huh. See you around, Kiryu. He's gonna get in trouble again, isn't he? 
Kasuz has gone to Pink Alley. I hope he doesn't run into any trouble. You know he has. Alright, uh, where is Pink Alley? That's Park Alley. There it is. All the way down there. Is there... No, there is not a cab. Could someone explain to me why, uh... Why the, uh, Prime emotes are full of Pokemon? Mmm... I can't really answer that for you. Cool. Sorry, but do you have a telephone cards? I'm a collector and I'm really grateful if I could just if you could just show me what you got, I could pay you even. I might have some. What you want to do is look though? Mm. Yes, you see I've got so much disposable income, I can pretty much buy whatever I want, but owning things isn't really a big deal to me anymore. Okay. Now, what I value is experiences, not things. Glimpsing an item of exce exceptional rarity means more to me than having it. I guess it couldn't hurt to show you my cards. Oh, like, look at all the Pokemon emotes. Jesus! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is the same thing Majima had. Isn't that Kasuga? I mean, he's the only one who wears a uh, paperboy cap, so... Human trafficking? Show. Letter of Introduction. They're whispering, but I can't hear everything. Fine, come. Wow, they're fast! Kasuga's been investigating the human trafficking ring somewhere around here. I must have caught him in the act of going undercover. I'll have to ask him for the inside scoop back at the bar. Alright. They're not fast, just took the secret passage. Alright, now even though we're at time, uh, I wanna finish up the side story real quick and then uh go do one more thing at the office and then we'll call it. Alright. Honestly, it only feels like a couple hours to pass and not four. I know. <laughs> That's also if you can't find a target, I do have a friend who is streaming. All right, let's go in. We've got time for one of Kasuga's stories, if he's here. Also, uh, our raid message. It has to be Mew. All right. Kasuga's not here. Is Kasuga not coming today? Are you meeting someone here? Yeah. No, not really. You know the guy who always sits there? I was just wondering if he was coming by today. Ah. ah, him. He used to come by pretty much every day, but I haven't seen him around re at all recently. Mm -hmm. That's odd. Mm -hmm. Last time I saw him was when you two were drinking together, I think. Uh. Uh, I remember. That was when we talked about the human trafficking ring. After that, I saw him digging around in Pink Alley, so he hasn't been back here since then. I've got a bad feeling about this. Makes you worry, doesn't it? Kiryu has a very, like, obvious thinking face. Uh, he honestly always has a thinking face or rusting grump face. Well, no, it's more obvious when he's thinking because he does a lot of, like, hand movements and facial movements. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. Huh? Yeah, it does. I'm sure it'll be okay. I hope so. Maybe I should go check out Pink Alley, just in case.
back to the alley, I guess. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get such a workout from this, I swear. Now I'm just thinking of uh, Dexter's lab back to the lab again. Oh, God. <laughs> Boomerang, like in the or in like the two thousands, had like some very like weird buffers. Man, like Boomerang Cartoon Network buffers back then were were the best. Uh oh. Hmm? Wasn't That's... there wasn't there like an old uh, short skits they used to do called wedgies? I think so. I don't remember that. Like the only ones <sighs> I really remember fondly are the Sea and City or stuff. That, that I remember late at night they would do they would like uh exclu exclusively focus on stuff like a uh, Johnny Quest. Ah. Uh, Kasuga? Hey, Kasuga. Uh Kiryu? What happened to you? Kiryu uh, run. What? Come on, let's get you out of here. Little weasel. Look how far he ran. Who are you? Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Uh, his name. <clears throat> Who are you? And over that rodent reporter. He's the guy who's talking with Kasuga before. Is he the human trafficking ring? Yeah. Sorry. Can't do that. He's an associate of mine. Oh. You're his friend, are you? Then you should know. This town's dark secrets are best left in the shadows. I don't know or care who you clowns are. I just know your boy there came around sniffing us out. For that, you're both going on the auction block. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Not really menacing, is he? Well, his name was Deadpan. He's got a lot of health, though. He also loves the block. Ow. Then grab him. Uh, when you're in rush mode, he, uh, you can't grab. Well, which one grabs, then? This one. Yeah, it's like if he's if he's blocking, switch to the grabbing one. And you're out. You're not half bad, but not good enough. Too bad for you. The cavalry is coming. Let's see how long you can hold out against my backup with a rat to babysit. <laughs> What's going on here? That voice, boss man. Wh why would you come here yourself, boss? I, I'm so sorry, sir. I'll take care of these two right away. But please, I beg your pardon. You may release them. They are free to go. Huh? But, but these weasels came looking for a fight. Moon, your mic is scratching to get something. That's me. Sorry. Are you, get, are you getting no, tired, fine. Moon? A little bit. If, if you need to get some sleep, you know you can just pop off. Mm hmm They are ordinary citizens, nothing more. Just a little overly curious, I'm sure. Oh, I know who this guy is. It's the bar owner, isn't it? Or the barkeeper. Well, the get better look at the barkeep's face because he has a very obvious goatee. Yeah, th here. that's what I'm saying. But you can see the goatee on this guy. I didn't get a look at the barkeep's face, so. Yeah. But but they know ev Oh, wait, hold on. <clears throat> but they know everything. And what of it? You're as much to blame for trying to conduct business with a civilian. Some secrets are best left in the shadows. I... I'm sorry, sir. I'll let them go. Hum. You got off easy this time.
That man. We're safe? Yeah, it's definitely the barkeeper. You saved me again, Kiryu. Thanks. If it weren't for you, I'd be merchandise at the human trafficking ring. You better take that lesson to heart, Kasuga. If you sniff around when you smell trouble, it'll bite you on the nose. Yeah, I know. You hauled me out of some deep shit twice now. Seriously, Kiryu. I'm sorry. Must have been over my head after all. I'll stop sticking my nose into Kamurocho's shadows from for the time being. Uh, yeah, cool your heels for a while. And if you still want to chase the city's shadows after the heat's died down, be more careful next time. <laughs> huh. There's a sound idea, Kiryu. Maybe I'll lay low. You can laugh now, but if that man hadn't shown up, we'd have been in a world of pain. Uh-huh. Not that I'd know. I was out cold. But you saw the boss of the human trafficking ring, yeah? I envy you, man. I caught a glimpse, but he hid his identity under a hat. Even if I saw him again, I wouldn't recognize his face. That's still a massive coup. We're talking about a guy who might control part of Kamurocho's underworld. Someone big. Heh, <laughs> dream on. But the boss's voice and stature, I can't shake the feeling I might know him from somewhere. Mystery mounts in trafficking terror. Is the rain, uh, is the rain's rain leader right behind you? How's that for a headline? What did I say about cooling your heels? So much for learning your lesson. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. Call it an occupied occupational hazard. Guess that's what you are, Kasuga. Yep, it's him. It's nice to see you two drinking together again. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. See, Kasuga. Our barkeep was worried about you, too. Oh, is that right? Thanks. You're the best. I swear, you got me as a daily regular for life. I'm very happy to hear that, but if I may, you must be more cautious about around these parts, after all. They say some dark secrets are best left in the shadows. Hmm? That voice. Good night, Moon. Good night, Moon. Good night. Hey, get, some, get some rest. Get some painkillers. Is something the matter, sir? It, it, no, it's nothing. No, it can't be. Man, we've been doing so much with Kiryu tonight. How many CP do we have? Twelve. Is that a lot? Uh, well, to get the, the fastest time for money collection, we need twenty. Well, I'd, I'd just save up then. Yeah, probably. Ah, oh, great. I have to go beat up people at the temple again. Some nerds. Some nerds. <laughs> Some hooligans. I haven't had the, the candy nerds in a while. That's right. You don't see much of, like, Willy Wonka candies that often anymore. I don't even remember but, ever seeing it. Well, n nerds are a Willy Wonka candy. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And they had candy bars. I had uh, one before, but like it was years ago, like when I was little. Yeah, like I say, I, I don't remember ever seeing, like, I remember, like, there was, like, they advertised, like, the, the Wonka bar stuff. Oh, God. Oh! Oh! Mm, mm, mm. What? <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, oh God! <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just lost my train of thought. When did I get pliers? Jay <laughs> no, you get you rid of those, Kiryu. <laughs> I hurt. I hurt. Uh, Willy Wonka candy. We we're talking about Willy Wonka candy. Uh, uh so, oh wait, hold on. So, Willy Wonka candy. Uh, I remember they advertised the Wonka bar stuff, but... Uh oh Oh, right in the butt! <laughs> but I don't remember ever seeing those out in public. <laughs> He's not even human! Yeah, no, no, I I've seen them out in public when I was a kid. I wonder how they were. 
Uh, if I remember, they weren't bad. They weren't as uh, rich as like uh, Hershey milk bars. Nah. All right, so quick collection level four is 20. Uh, money magnet, get more money from fights is 20 as well. And disposable income, which is I throw more money when I do the most useless uh, technique we have in this game. That's only three. Is it to distract people? It, yeah, if it, there's like a whole bunch of goons that you throw money into the air and they go after that, and basically it just skips a fight. But like you can easily just outrun them. Yeah. People flock, scattered, only work. Let's see. Yeah, they go for a longer time. Like, the m most important thing for adventure is the you can't stop me where I can just run around without getting tired. Right. I will, But I say wait until you can get the, uh, that quick money thing because you're very close to it. Yeah. I still want to figure out what the Sega place is. Because tiring out is only just an inconvenience. While money, getting more of that is good. Yeah. And even so, you you oh. seem to be able to run for quite a bit. Oh hey. Ah, Kiryu san, how have you been? Ah. Hey Kikuchi, how's your police work going? Thanks to you, Kiryu san, I can handle police work after other than routine stop and searches now. Good, I'm glad. But since I only did stop and searches for the longest time, I'm hopelessly out of shape. In fact, I've been messing up a lot. A police officer ought to be much stronger. True, I'm sure there are times when you have to physically intervene and break up fights or capture suspects by force. Yes, I need to get back into shape somehow, but I haven't found the right opportunity to do it. Getting in shape, huh? I know. Our company is hiring security staff. Are you inter interested in helping us? Hmm, that would give me a chance to get in shape. It would be moonlighting, though I can't do that. You're right. Then I won't pay you. How about if I buy your meals instead? Hmm, I wonder if that's okay. I'm pretty sure that's well outside the rules, too. Oh, what the hell? I owe you big time, Kiryu. Please, Loop let poles, me help you. Loopholes, boy, boy. Oh, well, what the fuck no... did I just say? <laughs> I, I have no idea. I said loopholes, loopholes, boy, boy. Wh I don't know why I said boy, boy. <laughs> wow, he is horrible at the start, but he gets pretty good at the end. Hmm. So, it's, yeah, okay, but is he security? And I saw the little thing in the corner. Yeah, he's security. Make the, no, he he's a financial advisor. Manager. <laughs> also, hey, it's Kasuga. So I guess we are done with his story then. Hmm. I kind of figured there was going to be, like, one uh, third story with him where it's like, oh, yeah, the barkeeper was actually the, the leader of the ring and all the stuff going on over in his section. Hmm. Hey, Kasuga. You're not sticking your neck where it doesn't belong again, are you? I get around. I do what I do. I'm thinking of the pliers again. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Business as usual, huh? But what brings you here? I want to ask a favor, Kiryu. As part of my research for an up-and-coming article, I'd like to ask you, uh, ask to help you with your biz. What? My business? We're short on people, so I appreciate the help, I guess, but... That's great. Thanks. I'll work hard for my pay. He's a manager? Let's see. Oh, God. He's only good on the second day. Ugh. Wait a minute. Pay? You want a salary? Oh, chill out. I do pretty good work if I do say so myself. Eh, fine. Welcome aboard. Kiryu, that is what you call a job. Oh, God. And a fortune teller, too. <laughs> You're just finding everyone. Evidently. I knew I'd see you again if I waited here. We get to hire her as security. Oh, hey, you're the fortune no, teller. No, assistant. Right? I met before. Do you want something? Let's just say fate brought us together. I have foreseen myself helping you with your business. What do you mean, fate? Guess I could use your help, though. Heh, <laughs> good. The matter's settled. I'll be seeing you. Yep, she's an advisor. She Figured. is. She's really good when it comes to event areas. God, but her pay is ridiculous. Holy shit! <laughs> My powers of pro uh, 
prognostication? There's no question that your fortunes will soon be looking up. I still don't really Now we have to pay stuff, you. But I appreciate your help. Jeez, she better be bringing a lot of investments to that place then. Hopefully, if not, then what the hell? Alright, let's get our money, do one more set of jobs, and then we shall call it for tonight. Come on, Nugget, bring home the uh -oh. money. Money battle! Okay, so now I actually understand what the stars are. It's basically their health bar when it comes to money battles. How do money battles work? So, oh, hold on. So money battles is basically, uh, they'll try to buy back any of the places that we bought out if we lose the uh, money battle. So we just got to put money to keep the, the person's health bar high up. Okay. Oh, wow, she is super helpful. Wait a second, wait a second. That, I see the manager is the one guy you were going up against before. So if you beat them, do you hire them? Yes, I think. Huh. Alright, let's invest in these places. Let's see, shopping. We don't have a good shopping advisor. This is going to hurt a lot. Wow, yeah, she really does invest a lot in these places. I think <laughs> I'll make her the go-to shopping advisor. <laughs> Alright. I'll just use Keo for uh, events, unless I'm, like, really far behind. Or I have a lot of money to burn. It, it makes sense that the Rockstar would know how to do events. Yeah. Now, what is the chicken good at? <laughs> well, the chicken is the manager, so not an advisor. Imagine someone trying to come in and talk like, can I speak? There's an angry lady. Let me speak to the manager. They bring Nugget out. Mug Nugget's just wearing like a little suit and tie. He's got the little baby arm. Some people put on the chickens. <laughs> One's holding a tiny clipboard. The other's holding the pen. No, it's just uh, Marina holding the clipboard and just being like, okay, here's the manager. <laughs> How do you think that discussion will go? Very interestingly. He can't read anything. He's damn good at his job. He can't read anything he writes. It's all chicken scratch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. How are these two? Two and one. So after this one, we'll have to swap them out. I'm gonna go use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Alright. Let's see. These two. Let's swap him out with. Uh. Koshimitsu. Let's see. These two are working good together. I'm gonna have to swap him out next time. Alright, uh, let's get, uh, no, let's not nu get Nugget. Kukichi, you can be security there. Uh, I guess we'll put Nugget in. Alright. You collect, and you start collecting. And we'll collect our money from that next week. Actually, probably should use the, uh, put these things away. Alright, now we'll save. How many hours have we been at this game so far? Jeez, almost 50 hours!
That is good. All right, I'm back. Back to intermission. Whew, we are we are almost at 50 hours into this game. <laughs> How long is this game? Uh, as long as you want it to be, but at least it's worth your money. <laughs> Oh, I mean, right. the game made you some money tonight. <laughs> I made me a lot of money, and then I wasted it all on a fortune teller. No, I mean, like, actual money. Oh, yeah, that's true. Just so I, just yeah. so I can hear you and no catch you. <laughs> I swear, you're you're going to just find an excuse for You're going to find the best uh, chance for me to wear cat shoes, probably, like, before story thing. and just going to be like, put them on! <laughs> That's, yeah, but like, I'm gonna have to hold off because, uh, that's all I'm willing to spend right now because I'm not going back to work till the 27th. Well, yeah, no, still, still I, you really didn't have to do that, dude. <laughs> you forced my hand. No, I didn't. The cats did. Exactly. It's too funny. And I, I'm not even back at the 27th because that is my bat date to come back, but I had to take it off because I'm getting my second COVID shot. Uh. Yeah, hope, hopefully it, it works out for you. Yeah. They already, they already approved the uh, day off. Oh, good. All right. Uh, do you still have a target? Or no, because he it looks like he got off. Uh, uh, well, in that case, let's see who is streaming right now. Are you still streaming? Nope. How about you? That damn gift with the cat and shack. <laughs> Mario 3D World in a nutshell. <laughs> when you know you're about to fight for the crown. <laughs> Ooh, how about this person? I hope they're still alive. Oh, you know what the Batman gif is? What? That's Moon watching us fight for the crown. <laughs> no, it would be the Spider-Man gif. <laughs> it's both. It's combined. She's shaking her head uh, as she's eating. Alright, uh, we'll raid this person. We haven't raided them in a while. Who's the target? I uh, will tell you in just a minute. The timer starts now. Okay, I'm impatient. What is it? <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna raid Keon, who is playing Mario 35. Which better get your games in before, before it's too late, because they're gonna pull the trigger on Mario in two weeks. Uh, uh, I don't know why Nintendo's decided to do that. Because Bowser's in charge, and he wanted to finally get rid of those pesky plumbers. <laughs> we're we're gonna raid Keon with hashtag mew 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 mew. <laughs> God, those cat shoes. All right, uh, tomorrow, Mario 3D World, me and Dragon gonna be making each other's lives miserable over a crown. Uh, also gonna try and work on some slice stuff and hopefully get that up on Sunday. And may also try to get a, another VOD up on Saturday. And if uh, the next VOD is going up, that VOD is going to be... See. He's spinning the wheel. Uh, Yakuza. Because last one was the uh, Pokemon Puzzle League. Wasn't the last Yakuza uh, VOD you put up, wasn't it Night 3? Yeah, it's going to be Night 4. And we're on Night 11. So you can see how far back we are in terms of odds. Wait a second. Night. So that means it's Night 3. The introduction to him is up. Uh, no, I think that was night six, actually. No, remember when you went to investigate oh, in one God, of the cabarets as Majima? Right. You're right. All right, I'll see you all then. I gotta go. Great time. Good night, everybody. Send all the muse to Keon's way. 